Hey there, this is Weewa, and you're watching Phenomenon. If you're looking for cats or beans, you'll find no better source of them than right here. Farmer Finn is the best cat and bean farmer east of the Tenasket. And I'm not just saying that because I'm contractually obligated to say it. <coughs> Although I am contractually obligated to say it. What an asshole. Phenomenon on Twitch. Live from the Insomniac Game Theater in Chicago, it's the Very, Very Late Night Show, starring Phenomenon, featuring Blue Bears, Beans, and Games and Prizes. Tonight's guests are Master Tonberry, Becky, and introducing Carrie. With the very, very late night show band, I'm your announcer, Thorndog. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's Phenomena! It's me. It's me. I got tea. I got tea. Whoa, that sounds very right channel heavy. Uh, weird. I'll fix that in a sec. How the heck is everybody? Hello. How are you? How the heck are you? Come on. Why is that so heavy on the right channel? I see it. I see it on there. There. That's. I do this. Woo! There it is. Okay, we're back in the center. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck happened there? How the hell is everybody? Good to see you, see you folks. Yo, Dr. Belvin, who's gonna get a Becky visit here in a minute. Mr. R, it's been a while. I hope you have luck finding that uh, capture card for your friend. It's going to be really hard to find a good capture card that's external and under a hundred dollars. It's going to be really hard. They're usually all USB two and have a lot of latency. So it's a struggle, but hopefully you'll be able to find something. Is that flames grace? Yes. <laughs> it was lickety messing with settings. In. I don't know what happened to be honest. She is really careless about that mixer she'll just step right on it and start messing with knobs as if it's just something to walk on you know cats cats anyway let's say hello sammy hi how are you dude finally dug yourself out of that hzd hole from what i can tell eagle good to see you rackdactylus oshimi belvin came by you viscerals here we got some lurkers out there i'm sure as well which I saw Lich somewhere, Sandasky. All right, nice warm welcome. Thanks everybody. That all important initial entrance is always very big on this platform. It causes what is called the snowball effect, typically. It causes a bit of a snowball effect. It's really cool. But more importantly, it's always nice to have people to hang out with right as I go live. That's really cool what it's all about that's the only reason i do this I, I i you know you can only just or at least for me i can only just sit around and play games by myself before i'm like man this isn't doing it well twitch is doing it <laughs> so here we are dude hey for someone to go down the wise in this working rabbit hole just to save a few bucks yeah it's i mean it really depends on what they're trying to capture too i could go on all night about retro capture stuff and in fact the little, well, tuesday and wednesday it was literally me spending almost both of those days doing nothing but trying to get that working pixel perfect for game boy color and gba which i did but it took two days <laughs> it took two whole days there's a lot there's a lot involved with it what can i say but it was fun i learned some things I learned I'll have to send my GCHD in to the manufacturer so they can update the firmware to avoid a lot of the hassle I went through. 
here's what we're doing tonight as many of you know this fine game gifted to me by visceral thank you so much visceral legend of mana og hardware only here this is the way to go i am o the way to go i like the i like the case art that it's got in there isn't that really cool really nice i miss this kind of packaging you know for games i really do there's the back angle it so it doesn't get chromed old squaresoft game from 1999 i just never got a chance to play this one until now just never did look at the back of the the inlet it's actually the inlet is actually the instruction book Look at the back. It has one game I own and one I've never played or even seen. Chrono Cross I own. It's on the next list. Snedasky likes to vote for it. And Threads of Fate, I've never seen or even played it. Never owned it, never played it, never seen it. None of those things. I don't know what that game is. But supposedly that year was stacked with RPGs, so it probably just got overwhelmed by everything else, you know? Hi, Laura Lana. How's it going? As far as I know, it could be a com competent RPG in a game, and I just have no clue. I just never got a chance to play it. But that's one of those games that's on my watch list, uh, Threads of Fate. So if I ever get my hands on it, I'll put it either on the next list or stream it outright. Uh, speaking of games that are going to be streamed, Grandia, I think, is one of them that will probably be streamed. I have a copy on the way. I found one on eBay that was actually relatively inexpensive. And I heard that the price has dropped a lot because of the HD remasters that have come out. So we got that one coming. We got that one coming. It's raining once. It's raining there for... Blah, blah, raining there, so for once you're not hot. I don't get to hear that a lot from you, the whole raining. <laughs> But I want to tell you some games that I do want to stream for sure this year. This game, Lunar Silver Star Story. If I can get it, Eternal Blue. Um, Panzer Dragoon Saga. And probably Mario RPG. And then the rest we'll figure out either with next lists or, you know, just depending on what I can get my hands on from that watch list. There's a lot of RPGs on that list, and there's a lot of RPGs I have that I could play this year, and I'm going to be playing. It's going to be just like we've been doing. Sundays and Mondays seem pretty good to comfy days for RPG games. My RPG is awesome. That game is so good. That game pushed the Super Nintendo to its limits as far as tech goes. It was like... Like what we thought 3D would be. As, at least as kids because like there really weren't games like that not that not that looked that impressive back then it was just it was just, it was absolutely peerless when it came out there's a ton of extra stuff to do in it and i remember it was around the same time that sonic adventure game came out probably either in response to mario rpg or the other way around i don't recall but i remember thinking every time i saw s pictures of sonic adventure i'm like they're copying mario that's stupid you know because i was a dumb teenager and dumb teenagers are angsty a lot of the time and derisive towards things that they don't get to experience or understand. <laughs> yeah, Mario RPG has a lot of great extra content in it, doesn't it? It's it's a pleasure to play that game, and it will be when we stream it, which has never been streamed on this channel. That will be pretty exciting. There's a lot of games that could be streamed on the next list as well that are RPGs, retro games. Um, let's see. Looking at the list currently, Dragon Quest XI, Final Fantasy XV, World of Final Fantasy. Crystallis pretty much fits that bill. Um, let's see. What else? Lufia 1, Star Ocean 3, Breath of Fire 3 and 4. Those are all on the next list. So those are just more examples. What else? Final Fan Valkyrie Profile 2, Radiata Stories. So, yeah, a lot of stuff that could be played this year, depending on um, where you guys like to end up putting your votes. And that reminds me, there's a bit event right now. I don't know if you knew about that. There's a bit event right now called Hunter's Cheer. If you use, like, the Hunter's Cheer emoji, at least five points of it. Um, it Twitch gives the broadcaster an extra 20%. 
which is crazy. And I have that working on my next list now too. So the next list will count those bonus bits if, as long as you put the ID number in your message. Hybrid Heaven, I've never heard of that. What is that? What is that? Ba 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 ba. That's for N N sixty four. You know, there's an interest, the interesting thing about an N64 is it had such a limited game library. Like, I like the N64 a lot. You know, I liked it so much that I have one of these. You know, I got one of these for it. And this thing works amazingly well. EverDrive 64. Oh, man. This thing is awesome. <laughs> But it's still, like, when I look through the list, I'm like, wow, that's actually a pretty small library compared to a lot of other consoles. NES, Super Nintendo, PS1, Genesis, they all had a much bigger library than, than Nintendo 64. It must have been a really difficult game to develop for. That's my only guess. I had, what, what games did I have on Nintendo 64? Let me think back on that uh it wasn't many here look at my uh restoration project the everdrive works for ocarina and golden eye randos there's a golden eye rando wow uh no i didn't have quest 64 i rented it and beat it in a single day it was so i was like i never want that game <laughs> i rented it and beat it in a single day it was terrible i was so disappointed by that game Let's see, I had Bomberman 64, which I have again, Conker's Bad Fur Day, Duke Nukem 64, Gauntlet Legends, GoldenEye, Killer Instinct Gold, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Mario Kart 64, Perfect Dark, Pokemon Stadium, Star Fox 64, Star Wars Shadows of the Empire, Mario 64, and Turok. Those are the games I had for Nintendo 64. I still need to get Duke Nukem and Gauntlet Legends back on that list. I didn't own Smash Brothers, but I rented it, like, all the time. Because it was one of those games where I only really wanted to play it on a weekend every once in a while. So I'd rent it on a weekend and have a buddy come over and we'd just play Smash. Plus, back then, there was always somebody you knew that had a game like that, you know? It was a fun, fun party game, as it were. And it still was into college as well. Played a lot more of it in college than I did before college, actually. Yeah, I'm curious what a GoldenEye randomizer randomizes. Must be like the enemy placements and the gun placements and stuff like that. I wonder, what else could it randomize though? Not much. Goldfinger 64. Yeah, um, I tried running it on EverDrive. I actually tried that. It doesn't work right on an EverDrive. So I never got really a chance to play it. Someone is randomly odd job. You mean for multiplayer? Hmm. You know what I used to love doing with uh, my GoldenEye cart? Um, is I had a friend who loaned me a Game Shark. And we could, like, Game Shark in stages that were, like, locked for multiplayer. Like, the Cradle was one of them, which was, like, the end level in that game. So, like, playing multiplayer and, like, all those, like, scaffoldings above the satellite dish or whatever it was really cool so you randomize the skins starting weapons enemies weapons so you could be on a train you have a laser watch and enemies have rockets <laughs> or the enemies could have scientist skins and you won't know who to shoot oh wow that would be tricky that would be tricky yeah it's 64 i had a lot of fun with. i love that system especially mario 64 that game i remember as a kid like just overwhelmed my imagination. Like I couldn't imagine games being that like, I suppose high tech until Mario 64 came out. And my cousin ended up getting it before I did. 
Like, he got it for Christmas, and I got it for my birthday, which is about a month after Christmas. And I was staying overnight at his house during the holidays, you know, when I was on school break. Um, and I ended up playing that game until, like, 5 or 6 in the morning. And I don't think I had ever stayed up that late in my entire life as a kid until that night. Because I couldn't stop playing Mario 64. I didn't want to stop. I just couldn't. <laughs> Eventually, I got so tired, I started falling asleep. It just... I ended up falling asleep with the game still on. <laughs> you didn't mind the N64 controller? I I didn't mind it, but it's not good. But I have a brawler now as well. Let's see. This is where it's at. If you really like Nintendo 64, you get one of these. It's called a Brawler 64. That's made by Retro Fighters. Oh my God. It's almost as comfortable as a Switch Pro controller. Look at this thing. It's got nice grips on it. The Z buttons are doubled up top. So you know on the old 64 controller, you had the one Z button that you would you would control the analog with your thumb and Z with your trigger finger. It's got double, so you could use either one. You could use either one. And there's a... These buttons, I don't know what these buttons are, but one says turbo and the other says clear. I have no idea what the fuck those do. <laughs> also, this D-pad is a lot better than a Nintendo 64 D-pad. This is a really nice D-pad. Works really well. No joystick problems. Yeah, this is a really nice analog stick. Nice and rounded, so it doesn't have those concentric circles. You guys you know the old Nintendo 64 analog sticks? They had those, like, little circles in it that would, like, dig into your thumb if you played too long. This is just nice and smooth, like a rubberized, rounded button. It also makes this really satisfying noise. You hear that? <laughs> Can you hear that? Hey, what's up, Rad? I have Vergesa. Uh, I don't know if you could hear the crackle. Not crackle, but uh, the sound of the stink. Memory card and rumble pad works with it? I hope so, yeah. It's got the slot for it, so. It would be pretty bad if it didn't, to be honest. But yeah, this is a really... This controller feels really nice. ASMR! <laughs> There you go. Just a satisfying little sound. All right, where's Belvin? Where's Belvin? The transfer pack doesn't work. Oh, that's disappointing. Let's, I wonder why it doesn't work. Belvin, you did this, by the way. Like, within five seconds of the stream going live, I think he was just waiting. <laughs> he was like, I'm gonna get it. Well, damn right you got it. Jeez. I didn't even get a chance to try and close my eyes before you summoned me. Your, your wise ass. Is this what you really wanted? Is this really what you wanted? Well, here I am. I hope I was worth it. Good job, Bill. Let me smash. <laughs> Let me smash. Oh. I have tea but I'm really hot, so I'm like slowly drinking it. Anyway, let's go here. Let's go here. It's a nice little screen. Wait a minute. Laura Lana. Are you still there? When did I miss that? I must have been grabbing my tea. You tier three subbed. <laughs> Holy shit. How did I miss that? I must have, you must have done it in the 30 seconds I took to stand up and grab my tea. Wow. I didn't even see that until I looked at my events and I'm like, whoa, we've got a sub. <laughs> I was right as the claps were ending. Oh, oh, that's what it was. Wow. Thank you so much. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Ninja tier three, right? Bigger is better. 
Oh, she's got a sound. She's had one for a long time. She was one of our first. You, I think, Viscerl, you and her were like some of Hi, our first people. This is Laura Lana. There's hers. <laughs> Thanks for the host, Chaos Kitty. Uh, but she can change her sound now if she wants to. If that's what she wants to do. Oh, the classic sound effect. The classic. The classic sound effect. I am excited to play more of this right now. Ah. What are you looking at? It's called Legend of Mana. Ha! Get it? I'm so clever. I'm not. Don't worry. <laughs> Hold on. Just doing this real quick. There we go. Just got to make sure it's the right res. Okay. You get it? Yeah, he gets jokes. We all get jokes around here. We're a regular group of jokesters. This game is super pretty. I I guarantee if I had ever played this as a kid, that I would have played a lot of this game. A lot. I just never did for whatever reason. When did this come out? Because I could probably fit the timeline. In the United States, when did this come out? Does anybody know? Because I think it was 99 in Japan, but that doesn't mean it was 99 in the U.S. Joker Kitty. Nice. Oh, you were seeing the numbers? That's the capture card when there's no, no, no signal being received. June 6, 2000. That's why. That's it. You know what I was doing in the summer of 2000? Was preparing to go to college. I didn't play a lot of games that summer. At least not new ones. I was mostly hanging out and saying goodbye to people. So, yeah. That explains it. I, I didn't get, like, any new games in 2000. And I probably didn't get really any new games until like grad school so like 05 or 06 I got zero new games effective almost almost I did get a PS2 in like 03 as a gift but I only had a couple games for it really never had a lot of PS2 games until I was actually out of college you guys ready you ready for the legend the legend of manana let's turn that up a little it's got good music Uh, if this game has directional sound, I will need your help to determine if I have it reversed or not. Sometimes I accidentally reverse the stereo because my some of my audio cables that I have, they were wired backwards. So the red should be right channel. And it's not. <laughs> it's left. So yeah. You don't think it has any directional sound? All right, then it shouldn't matter. If things sound weird or off, they'll let me know. Picture looks pristine, though, from what I can see on the preview window. Looks like we got a nice, pixely perfect picture, which is interesting because it actually brings up a subjective debate, and I want to open it to all you folks. A lot of the time, it's argued that the developers intended for the blurriness with their design of these games because it makes things look more smoothed out or, you know, seamless and not pixely. So I honestly think like whether or not you see a pixel perfect is is a totally subjective thing. Like I feel like both ways are are valid as far as like intended experience. Personally, I really enjoy the art style of uh, pixel art. So I want to get the most pixel perfect images I can. Symphony of the Night, it was intended for blurriness? Uh, why so? Look, we have the power glove. We have the power in our hands. 
We have the power, my precious. This ring is actually really nice. Um, it shares experience with my teammates. There's a spot where the moon shines in the background in one room. And if you see it in HDMI, it's just a big square. That, it's not that simple. If you see it like as a big square, then it's not being upscaled properly. And HDMI can do that. Did you spot it during this playthrough? It's because it was meant to be interlaced. It probably looks like it had lines through it, if I had to guess. They added ocean fishing in 14. I used to do that all the time in 11. No. Yo, who is that? Is that a Venandi? Is that a Venandi and a Burger Tank? Thank you for the host. Welcome everybody from Andy's channel. Hope you guys had a good time over there. You guys, gals, non-binary pals. Final Fantasy 14. A squalfin. It's a dolphin squash. I remember those Belvin. Pirate attacks and sea horrors on the ferry boat in Final Fantasy XI. If you guys don't know me, I'm Phenomenon, variety streamer, primarily focusing this year on retro RPG and some indie content. So yeah, that's what we've been doing. Been playing a little Subnautica. We do D&D every Saturday. We do user cho community choice games Thursday, Friday, or no, yeah. Yeah, Thursday, Friday, and then Sunday, Monday, I pick the game. Not a spoopy game, that's right. This is nothing but colorful, pretty, comfy game. Just the kind of stuff Andy needs. I've been playing too many spoopy games for her lately, on accident, even. <laughs> Round seed, oblong seed. Hey, what's up, Thor? Right, let's give him seeds so we can get more fruit. And then we'll never use the fruit because we don't know what it does. We're not really, anyway. <laughs> There's still the jury's still out on that. All right, here you go. Have a round seed and an oblong seed. Good times. That's the class I like to play too. Uh, Belvin. It's used in crafting. I this game still has no crafting for me. It makes me wonder if I'll ever find it. Here's the workshop, which is still empty. <laughs> it's still empty. Like, what is this? We'll figure it out. Maybe. We might figure it out. That's one thing about this game that's really tough, is it tells you how to do nothing. It really doesn't tell you how to do anything. You're left at the mercy of trial and error and replay. So this game does have a lot of meaningful replay, so... It feels like it's one of those games that won't stop just because you uh, you beat it once. Monster Barn. That looks like the slimes from Breath of Fire. Name Monster. Okay, what are we going to name that monster? It was a slime with eyeballs. Let's get some name suggestions, chat. And I'll just pick one. <laughs> I don't think we're going to call it Morph Egg. It's kind of unimaginative. We get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten characters. Sack. We have Sack. Is that a reference to Dragon Warrior 7? Uzi. Carl. <laughs> Megan. Megan. Poob. Poob. Okay. Recall strap man. We got some really good uh, suggestions here. I'm gonna go with poob. I don't actually know what a poob is That's why I'm gonna go with it. We're gonna go with poob Dude Skylar I was dying last night when I saw what you said in Roseguard's channel <laughs> I was fucking dying dude. 
Uh, Garl, you left your slime everywhere. All right, we have a poob. Uh, let it. Let's let the poob graze. It's a slime. Give me some ass. All right, poob. It could have been Becky, but it didn't look like a Becky to me. It didn't look like a Becky. If we ever play one of the DQ games where you can name monsters, I guarantee we'll name Metal Slimes Becky. Pet Poob. It is without any particular personality. You need to play DQ5? I don't have any way of streaming. DS, so it's pretty much out of the question. Unfortunately. I could always do the PS2 version of a fan translation or the Super Nintendo version. Maybe. 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 Doo -doo -doo. Or DQ Monster Game. I could do those. I do have GB, GBAC, GBA. Stream access. Yo, it's a Regison. It's a Regison. There's a mobile version. Ugh. I think I would rather eat my socks than play any mobile version of any RPG. You had no shot anyway. Dude, how long was it? I, I gotta... Dude, Skyler was telling a story yesterday about how they gave him something for, um something he's been dealing with and it worked and he was in um you know in a bed and a nurse walks in and just before she walks in he starts letting loose right <laughs> and he said it was like the longest fart in history and she's just standing there <laughs> just fucking standing there oh my god the poor man the timing i used to make fun of this friend of mine we used to do that on accident all the time. We always used to just tell him that his farts were like the summon hot girl spell in D&D. &D. Like totally. Nerds! Jesus, it's loud. All right, that's better. It's, it's, I have to turn those down when you guys interrupt like that. Sorry. Um, so anyway, yeah, it's just that's that's what Skylar did. He summoned a hot nurse with the longest toot in history the poor guy <laughs> how's it going neo and durian hope you're doing well that's how you release your mating call yours was timed while i was laughing okay sure i'll go with that okay so this game is very confusing i never know where to go i've just been randomly choosing all of this but the last thing we did was kill a really tough boss in uh the beach i want to say so we're gonna check the harbor again and see if anything has changed there you ever seen an episode of family where peter does a play and he cuts one for about 40 seconds <laughs> it was not 40 seconds come on come on by the way speaking of high nerd durian what is happening on stream chat? Wow. That's amazing. It's flipping out. <laughs> Look at our character's name. Durian won the raffle to name the character. Oh my God. It is just losing its mind. That's hilarious. I wonder if there's anything I can do about that. Let's see. Emoji. Uh, load cash. I'm going to do that real quick. No new work found. No, there's no fix for it. <laughs> it's just going to flip out. Uh, it's just gonna flip out. Finish making dinner. Bacon burger topped with Gouda cheese and fried potatoes. Ooh, that sounds wonderful. That sounds really good. Would I like to hear one of your songs? Sure. I didn't, didn't want to say yes, but I did on accident. Hello! It is less pleasant on the eyes. Ooh, yeah, that's really bad. <laughs> Ooh, that's really bad. wonder why it looks like that. You did throw Mog in Eni's room before he came here, and you found a gold 
chocobo crystal worth 10,000 gil. What does the gil do? What does the gil do? What does that mean? Exactly. Because I know that there's things in her channel you can do that, but I don't know what it does. We're going to discharge. <laughs> oh my God, dude. Um, you know, you're spamming. We get putty putty. Oh man. That's some real epilepsy right there. Do you have new weapon? No, you don't. You don't have new weapons. Feels bad. Feels bad. Laurent Hauberk, 16 defense. What am I using? I didn't even check. Oh, this is what I'm using. I'm using Laurent. <laughs> Buy things, gamble slots, request songs. Ah, okay. That's cool. Nice. Every area in this game is so pretty. How do the colors look, everybody? Hopefully they look good. Hopefully they look pretty good. I try to get them as accurate as possible, so I hope it turned out well. You know, gas doesn't really have a weight. Well, this was heavy. Oh my God. <laughs> Reg is pretty apparently. That's good. You're very pretty, Reg. Oh, we'd have to do a spin, don't we? We do have to do a spin. I forgot. I forgot. It caught me off guard, Lorelana. Thank you again. Crazy support. All right, here you go. Spin time. We're going to spin to win. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? Gonna be summoned Becky. <laughs> Let me smash. God dang it. <laughs> you got two already. What the heck? I was just dozing off. Why do you keep doing this to me? Why do you torture me so much? You're going to turn me into the world's most devious supervillain because you won't let me sleep. What is this? This torture? Must not go unpunished. <laughs> what a crew. What a crew. What a crew. <laughs> You're all goofs. You're all girlfriend. Let's go in here. See if anything's different. It's going to turn into an evil Metal King slime. I know. It's true. He's decided to stay here. Nothing's different here. Hmm. Nothing's different. Feels bad. Oops, wrong way. I get a little disoriented on transition. <laughs> a gingerbread man sits inside a gingerbread house. Is the house made of flesh? Or is he made of house? He screams for he does not know. <laughs> Number 019. What the hell, Thor? <laughs> oh. As a reminder, everyone, there's that new uh, cheer event going on right now. If you use Hunter's Cheer for your bit emoji, it gives the broadcaster 20% extra out of Twitch's pocket. Just like that. Just like what Reg did. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, Thor, for 51 bits and Reg for 10 plus 2. Appreciate it, guys. Look, it's Gilbert, the world's dumbest bard. He's pretty, he's pretty, he's dumb, dumb, unfortunately. So the, the, uh, the trivia was that he's supposed to be like a reference to Edward from Final Fantasy IV because Edward was originally to be called Gilbert. Oh, that's what it sounds like. It does that noise. All right, let's leave this town. There's nothing new here. Let's go. We're going to go to, I don't know, Domina. Just kind of revisit old town, see if it does anything. You made some peach tea. Peach tea. 
Teach T. Teach P? Teach P. Teach T. Ooh, doo, doo, doo. It takes a long time to look at these when I'm doing retro for some reason. There you go. Peach tea. Peach tea. Look at me. See? At me. And Becky. Oh, God, it's Becky. <laughs> Thanks, Lich. I hear you looking for a stud. Well, I've got the STD and all I need is you. Wow. Wow. Hunter's cheer 69 bonus 13. Hey there, how you doing? Hey there. Yo, Abactive, the greatest disinfectant known to man, or ATB active, if you want to be technical. Thank you for 69 plus 13 bits, and you voted to World of Final Fantasy. Very nice. I have never played that game. So, whenever that wins, that's going to be an interesting time. That's going to be an interesting time. Becky watched the tea. <laughs> she was thirsty. Why are sorceresses so bad at running? Because they can trip. Hunter Shear 99 bonus 19. Did I get a new one? Number 010. Just remember kids puns are bad, but dad jokes are the worst. Dad jokes are the worst. On top, that was one of the originals. A really old one. Thank you for 99 plus 19 bits. Thanks, everybody, for your support. What's the list command? Oh, which list are you looking at? We have a lot of lists here. Uh, the, if it's the alert list, it's alerts. If it's the next list, it's next. And then we have a, a RPG list. I think it's just called... R what is it called? Watch list? A watch list? Games I'm trying to get my hands on? Is that what I called it? Yeah, watch list. Those are a bunch of different lists we have on here. Beep. A bit. Did it get stuck again? It gets stuck sometimes. It does that. Burr, 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 burr. Everybody's saying all the same stuff here. Just the leftover bit. Well, thank you. <laughs> Next games. There you go, brother. There you go. Um... What am I looking at here? Durian has dinner, apparently. Dinner. Okay, fine, I'll share it, but you have to share it with me. All right, that's the stipulation. You need to be, you need to give me dinner if you're gonna make me look at this. Look at that deliciousness. Look at that deliciousness. Man. <laughs> <laughs> you did this to us, Durian. I want you to know that. Was that a new one? Uh, no, as I said, it was one of the very first ones we ever added. All right, here's Elazul. Offer to go with him. Let's go. Come on. He's pretty strong. Every time I've brought him with, he's kicked ass. So I'm going to keep doing that. Yeah, he's tough. He's a tough cookie. You're going to make yourself a quick oatmeal snack. I like oatmeal. I don't have any more oatmeal, though. My steel-cut oats all got ruined by the flooded kitchen, among a bunch of other food. But, you know, it happens. It happens. I had to convince my landlord to make the rent cheaper this month because of all the shit that keeps getting ruined by their damn flooding. So at least I got that. It's not much, but it, it adds up. <laughs> it adds up. Hunter Shear 95 bonus 19 paperclip. It looks like you're trying to remove this alert from the screen. Would you like help? Yeah. Number 019. Yeah, I would like help. <laughs> I always need help. Dude, thank you for the 95 plus the 19. Is it stuck? Yeah, it's stuck. Why does that one get stuck? It drives me nuts. I know I'm not the only person this happens to. I think it's because... Okay, so here's a correlation I've noticed. Thank you, Thor. And Viserl. 
Here's a correlation I've noticed. The only other streamer I know this happens to is W Shand. And much like him, the both of us have like well over a hundred alerts saved on Streamlabs. And I think we're literally overloading the system. <laughs> We both have way too fucking many alerts. And I think that's what's happening. <laughs> Streams Live's like, dude, we can't keep track of all this stuff. Oh, man. Okay, Durian, you got a deal, man. You got a deal, brother. <laughs> if it's if it looks that good, I'm th I'm there. All right, let's see what the fortune teller says. You might not be the best looking person here, but beauty is just a light switch away. Hunter's cheer 69 bonus 13. Mr. Visceral, which game would you like your 82 bits to go to? If you were a fruit, you would be a fine apple. <laughs> Hunter's cheer 69 bonus God. 13 I want to see a kick-ass squirrel So I will go with number 012 Oh my god Hunter's cheer 95 <laughs> bonus 19 Your update is complete number 026 Yay! Hunter's cheer 100 bonus 20 number 026. Wow. You wanted to go to WAF. Okay, I got it. I think everyone else had ID numbers, so. Um. Let's see. 82. Okay. 82 to WAF. WAF, WAF, WAF. You're a fine apple. You are. Feels okay, man. Sky So Fly is a fine apple. That's why he fly. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Do you drink water? You're, like, so alike. Oh, my God. Hunter's chair 69 bonus 13 number 009. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> When I asked Katie Cub if she was gonna would be okay with this idea for alert, she was immediately on board. And she said she had to record every single one like three or four times because she couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> She's like, I just recorded all of them four times and gave you the ones where I was laughing the least amount. <laughs> uh, so good. It's so bad, it's so good. <laughs> Don't forget, we have the Thor Please ones, too. The Thor Please ones are pretty good. And we also added Becky ones. We replaced old ones with Becky ones. So if you don't know what those are, you'll have to find them. All the new ones are all under 100 because I like to make it as approachable, accessible as possible for everybody. And there's Nightmare Fuel, yeah, which is... Well, we'll see if that one ever is used, but it was requested. We'll just put it that no, way. Oh, God. No, God, please, no. 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 <laughs> Zero. Brother. ID number? <laughs> Thank you for 45. Dub. Uh, the cow isn't anywhere. He's inside my mind. That feeling when chat asks a question that was answered five seconds ago. <laughs> Huntershear 30 bonus 6 number 019. <laughs> 45 to World of Final Fantasy. Thor put 30 plus 6 to Crystalis. This is good music. Look, it's our bunny buddy. Psychokinetic Flowerling. How stupid. Why is that stupid? No, you, we, we need to go on adventures, Niccolo. Niccolo is good. He's a bro. One little crop of Thor's cam. A ton of memes thereafter. It was a good catch, came by. It was a good catch. You just started posting it in Discord and everybody started memeing with it. <laughs> 
I think this is a ghost town right now. Oh my god. Solo was like... He kept rolling ones and twos all night. And every single time people were like, use tomorrow's blessing. Use tomorrow. He wouldn't do it. He kept forgetting. Finally, I had to start like, use the blessing. Do it. Right. Just do it. Just do it. Hunter's cheer 31 bonus six. Is that a javelin in you pants? Or are you just happy to see me? Oh Number my God. One, two. Solo has bad luck. I must've taken all his luck. Cause I usually have good luck. Usually. Thank you, Skyler, for 31 plus 6. Going to Conker's Bad Fur Day. Oh, what a game that is. That'd be a retro gem to play. What a gem that game is. Dub! Good old Dub Bears. Can I get through? No? Okay. There we go. Han Solomon. Nice. Han Solomon shot first. Nice. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, he gets the big screw in RNG all the time, doesn't he? It's pretty funny. It's sad, but funny. No, I don't think Solo likes puns very much. I mean, I'm personally not a fan of them, but I know so many people are, so I can appreciate them that feeling in that way. All they want to see is Becky. <laughs> Hunter's cheer 35, bonus uh, 7. God. Thank you, Zerl. Zerl, ID number, brother. <laughs> Fucking put it in there, dude. Seriously, write it down if you have to. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, this is uh, craft materials, right? Can't use them, though. That feeling when all they want to see is Becky. <laughs> oh, Hunter's God. cheer 35, bonus 7, number 010. Thanks, Rag. 10 votes? No, 30, 42 total. The Dragon Quest. The weapon. All right, there's nothing in this town. I don't know where this game wants me to go right now, to be fair. Even the fortune teller's like, don't get hurt. Number 010, you guys, with the alerts. And that Becky with no, no, yikes. Let me some Cheeky air. smiley face. I am not a fan of puns at all. Cheeky and the reason smiley everyone face. Loves Becky is because she is the queen of sass. Cheeky smiley face. Jungle. The goose is back to steal your truck. The same goose? Oh my god. Sun Top, thank you for the buck 51, man. Till the end of time, huh? Oh, that was Lich. Sun top did DQ11. Okay. 150 bonus 30 number 022. Lich, please. Headbang. I don't headbang. My entire body is amorphous. Hunter's chair 41 bonus 8 number 009. Number 009. I'm running out of space on this map. I have a lot of artifacts. Artifacts. Are right, we gonna go home? We're gonna save. And we're gonna place an artifact. Yo, Zeller Cook. The Zero, thank you for 41 plus 8. You remember the AD number? Yay! Hi, Dudette. Dudette says puns are the highest form of humor. You think so? Fair enough. <laughs> I'm gonna save. And we're gonna get eligible and try to figure out what this game wants for me right now. Do, 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 do. Which is almost universally, I have no a gargoyle idea. Gargoyle used to guard the local church, but quit. It felt he was taken for granite. Hunter's chair 99, bonus 19, number 009. <laughs> uh, am I gonna get the Nest Vampire of the Master of the Game? Yeah, I'd like to. I'd definitely like to. But Cyril, 99 plus 19. Thank you very much. He remembered the ID number again. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. 
Oops. I didn't mean to do that. Da, 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 da. I definitely would like to play the next VTM game. The last one was the, the one we just played was really good. I was really surprised. Taken for granted. Back to glam. I don't know what that means. But you enjoy your glam rock 80s 80s style music. Oh, I didn't go to Gato Grotto's. Forgot to do that. Wait, I wonder if n little bunny guy will come with me if I'm alone. That feeling when your D&D group keeps splitting the party. Oh, I hate that feeling. <laughs> Hunter Shear 34, bonus 6, and the DM made him do it. Uh, 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 number 019. No, I did it. Slanderous lies, Thor. Thanks for the Farney. The totes. Totes Farney. Come on, bunny brother. Come with me. Dang it. You won't come with me. That feeling when all they want to see is Becky. Yep. Hunter's it's true. Cheer 35 bonus 7 number 026 <laughs> umbrella on ground. Oh my god. Thank you, Sam. Sam Dasky. Or the 35 plus 7. Heck yeah. All right, we'll get Elizabeth again, and then we'll go to Gato Grotto's or whatever. If there's anything new there, good. If not, I have to place an artifact that down, I think. That feeling when every single bean is a bad bean. Hunter Shear 37, feeling. bonus seven. This one is lonely. Number 019. What are these little bit alerts? They're the best. That's what they are. They're the best. Silver cook. That's what they are. That feeling when all they want to see is Becky. God damn it. <laughs> Forgot Hunter's the ID Chip number. 35, <laughs> bonus 7. Uh... <laughs> Thanks for 35 plus 7. Uh... Lich wants Star Ocean till the end of time. What a title that is. You had an idea for a D&D character? Let's hear it, man. Let's hear it. I like hearing about people's IDs for D&D. Thank you, Thor. Thor, if you're going to be adding those, I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Just let me know when you have to step away. It means a lot to take that off the edge. So take that edge off me so I can just get with the gamins and the chattins. Star Ocean till the end of time. I really enjoyed that game. I didn't like it as much as two, but honestly, I think that game is underrated. I really do. The ending is, yeah, but it's fun. It's a fun game. Austin Covello, fellow human, welcome back. How are you tonight? I like Star Ocean 3. I I enjoyed it quite a bit, and I'm excited to play it again someday. I really am. I haven't played it since college, since like 04, I want to say. So it'll be a 16-year revisit. Long overdue, IMO. Limel? Limel. Which game is Limel in? Is that 4? Star Ocean 4? I think it's Star Ocean 4, yeah. Yeah, Limel is... Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Most of them are offloaded, so Thor doesn't get overworked. Yeah. He's a variant of human from the desert and represents the neutral live and let live aspect of nature. Who? I'm lost. I'm sorry. I have lost the script. Limo reminds you of creepy doll. Me too, Riku. Me too. That feeling when Phenomenon forgets what he said five seconds ago. Thor, what are you trying to say? <laughs> Thor, what are you trying to say? <laughs> you jerk. <laughs> God damn it. Why are you going to call me out like that? <laughs> oh, man. It's only funny because it's true. And we all know it. <laughs> we all know it. Oh, my God, dude. 
Oh my god. <sighs> Limel doesn't phase you, huh? God. My brain is just exploding from that. <laughs> Star Wars 4 is not on the list. The next list. As much as I like to stare at Myria in that game, who is the most ridiculous boob waifu ever. Magic boob waifu. That's, there's really not a lot of redeeming qualities to that game. Okay, there's nothing here. The joke was very on edge. Ah! Not you too! Dream weaving room. Can I go in? No? Alright. Burp, burp, burp. A boob waifu is is in a redeeming quality, not as a sole reason to play an RPG. No. <laughs> uh. Oh my God, Reg. Vasurl, <sighs> what are you guys doing to me right now? <laughs> this hurts me. Marigold is probably the least annoying cat girl in the series. I don't know who I... If I play Star Ocean 3 again, I'm, I've am i always been thinking who would I would use this time. Because the last time I used Nell and... Elbel? Albel, I think his name was. Like the broody as fuck sword dude. He was super ultra emo broody. I don't want to use them this time. I want to use a different team. Yeah, him. That's Brad, yeah, there you go. Yeah, you're right, that's Brad. Mm. Let's see, we have Pirate's Hook, Broken Doll, Ancient Tablet, Sand Rose, and Trembling Spoon. We have a lot. We have a lot of things. I don't know if I should just keep going as far away as I can or not. I really don't understand a lot about this game, to be fair. Pirate's Hook sounds like it would go have to go near water. Oh, in water. Pirate's Hook goes in water. You put your ID up above. Oh, I didn't see it. I'm sorry. A baseball player that comes from the future. He's just as bad as a weapon, augments it, and has spikes in it. Medium to high intelligence, accurate. Completely out of place, but he was a 300. <laughs> Jarek Dieter. God damn it, Skyler. Jarek Dieter, the D&D &D character. <laughs> God damn it, dude. Uh. Alright, let's put a pirate hook in the water. Oh, that's cool. It's an actual pirate ship. Beep, 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 beep. SS Buccaneer. It doesn't look like you can expand outside of the boundaries. Sadly. Should we, let's go to the SS Buccaneer. I think I have Elizal with me. I hope. I can't check until I go here. What quests have I completed? I really wish I knew how to answer that, Austin. I don't really have a reasonable way of answering that. Because I don't know this game. This is a blind game, so... I don't know. <laughs> I really don't. This is one of the better tracks of the game. Wow, this looks really cool. Check this out. This is good, good sprite design and visual effects.
This game is so like open ended that I just don't know how far I am. Uh, I don't really want to know. I could check my cactus area. I have kept up with it, but they're all out of order. There's no order to them. They're just scattered all over the place. You wish more new games were pixel art? Me too. And this looks really good on both my TV and and the, the capture. How far am I? Yes. I like I wanna answer Austin's question. I just don't know how, to be honest. You know, I'm trying not to spoil anything, so I'm trying not to, like, set up that kind of expectation of how far I am in the game because I don't want to know how far I am. It's a hard question to answer. I am yes out of 100% complete. <laughs> I want more retro RPGs that are like this style. Like that's the kind of stuff I want. I heard the Trials of Steel games are like that. Deck house. I don't care about nothing no more. Oh, okay. We have a nihilistic pirate. Good. Wheelhouse. Ain't nothing gonna be being a man of the sea. I'm SS Buccaneer Steersman, Ram Tiger. Ram Tiger, okay. You missed a fair bit? We haven't done anything yet tonight. We haven't done anything tonight, so you didn't miss anything. All I did was go to towns and see if I could get quests, and I didn't get any quests from any town. Yeah. I get, yeah, I feel the same way, Austin. Which direction do I want to go? Uh, none? It took you till 6 a.m.? Wow. I was, I kept you on lurk like all night, so. You outlasted me. <laughs> that's that's unusual. Which direction do I want to go? I don't want to go any direction. Tezzle muzzles and cast pads. Why does he keep saying which direction do I want to go? I don't want to go any direction. Ding ding. We got some enemies on board. Get rid of them. What the heck? I was just exploring. <laughs> All right, let's go. I guess we're fighting. Oh, that's not hard. Oh, I'm stuck in the air. Let me smash. I win. Yeah. Dragon bone. Cool. Beep 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 beep. I don't know why we just fought. I'm not sure, but I have learned talking to him is a bad idea. Talking to him is a bad idea. I'm trying to explore. Why? Because we want treasures. We like treasures. It's Captain. I want to become a real dandy man of the sea like our Captain. Dandy man. And you gotta stop saying those stupid jokes of yours. If I stop saying jokes, I can become dandy? You can try not to say your jokes, but I'll bet it's impossible. He didn't like that, did he? Where's the Captain? Oh, he's up there. All right. Treasies. I want treasies. How do you do that? With an emote. A sub emote from Ryu's channel. It's literally just blank. <laughs> he had to convince Twitch to let him get that emote. <laughs> I'm Captain Tusk, leader of them there pirate penguins. Why do you like the ship? 
Ain't she a beaut? Yes. Ha! Well, you got what it takes to be a man of the she. Thanks. Anything else? No? She's a beaut, yeah. Dun, dun, dun. It's our pad, he says. Did you forget how to do that? No, it's not an emote here. I got rid of it like a year ago. I had too many dittos. I only needed one, really. There's only one game as evil as Ephemeral Fantasia, Breath of Fire Dragon Quarter. I have not heard any good things about that game. Hatchway. What? This is a big place. This is a big old boat. Quarter deck. Did I just go in a circle? I think I did. Well, all that taught me is I don't know how to get off of this boat. Let's see what's down here. Main deck. Shoot the cannon! Aw. Energy of the sea. Energy of the sea. I liked Breath of Fire 1, 2, 3, and 4 a lot. The first game I ever streamed was Breath of Fire 2. I personally really enjoy it. Mm -mm. And it's even better if you get the fan retranslation of it. Makes it even better. It's a door! Main deck. This is a confusing ship to navigate. Forecastle. Oh, there's a save. Okay. I'll use that. Your GBA improved a lot in BFF 1 and 2. One of the things they did, which I think everybody should do for at least Breath of Fire 2, is what the GBA version did, which is double experience in Zenny. Then the game actually becomes balanced. I'm not exaggerating either. Otherwise, it's very grindy. And that's one of the downsides of that game, uh, Breath of Fire 2, is it's super grindy. There's a lot of random rooms in here and enemies in the rooms. Weird. Well, all right, we're on a boat fighting random monsters that are attacking the boat. Okay, Thor, thanks for letting me know. We be penguins, but we could be turning human. Oh, okay. Do I have to play the GBA versions? The GBA versions are inferior, in my opinion. They have a fix that makes it better, but if you want to play the best version of Breath of Fire 2, it's literally the fan retranslation with a patch to double experience in Zenny. Because GBA can't emulate the Super Nintendo sound quality at all it tries but it does a bad job so it's just gonna sound ugh, it's gonna sound really lousy i'm very lost on this boat right now i keep getting attacked who are you people okay that was awesome I think I won. I mastered backflip. Oh, wow. That was unexpected. I did. I wasn't even trying to get a <laughs> an ability. Backflip. We'll try it. Look at all the treasure in this room, and I can't loot any of it. Feels bad. 
Uh, I don't know if there's any retranslations of the first game, though. I can't speak to that. Ooh, there's treasure in here. No, it's a mimic. Oh, that sucks. Sun crystal. Well, it gave us some kind of treasure at least, so it was worth it. If you ever played Tales of Fantasia Super Nintendo, there's a fully vocalized song. I think I played that game. when the fan translation was released and I only played it for like an hour so 15 years ago longer I don't remember anything about it I really don't why are all these rooms full of enemies oh god okay wow we found treasure fish meat okay Messy scroll. Ether. More fish meat. All right, we just robbed some pirates. This, this is the way. This is the way. I think it's all crafting items, and we still don't know what that's for. a lot of craft items as you can see <laughs> I don't know what any of it's for let's see if we got any equipment we'll double check <laughs> I forgot that we have a, a glove called jazz hands dragon bone ooh there 12 defense. Is there a way to check that? Artifacts. Instruments. Armor. There. Status. Let's see. Defense against poison. Okay. No mystic powers. Five shade essence. 12 magic defense. Wow. That's actually pretty decent. I'm probably not going to use it, though. Because what I use, I like better. I use... Um... Oh, these menus are a bit confusing to navigate. I use this ring. Which... As fertility goddess, which basically it doesn't tell you, but it, when you get experience, your teammate does too, which for whatever reason is not just a base mechanic of the game, which I thought was weird, but hey, it's it's paid off, so I just keep using it. More tragedy? Oh, mimics feels bad. Nice. Sun crystal. All right. Do, 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 do. What? What did I just do? Did I just find a hidden door? Huh. This is a really confusing boat. And a lot of sun crystals. This is a really confusing boat. Mega confusing. It's got a banger of a music track, though. Yeah, there's a hidden door right there. Oh, they respawned. Not cool, man. Ah, 
Ow. I'll take all that money. Now it makes me wonder if I missed other secret doors. There's probably a lot to see in these rooms, isn't there? Potentially. Like, there could be something in here. I never would have known. Not seeing anything. It looks like there should be, though. Maybe that was the conveyance to let me know that there was a secret door. Hatchway. Dang it, Bobby! These have a lot of hit points. Nice. Oh, hell yeah. Go Elzul. You see all that damage he just did? Dude's cleaning house. Jeez. <laughs> That's a lot of experience. And a hunter lucre. Those things are good to fight. Fight the fishmen. You'll get all of the experience and money. Bulkhead. Okay. Looking for treasures. Oh, the music's changing. A monster egg. In this tight square? All right, we'll try it. What do I have a lot of? Four. Oh, wow. Let's see if this monster likes fish meat. Oh, speaking of monster, there's a lickety coming. It does. Aquatic egg. Wow, I caught it on the first try. That never happens. Kitty. There's a cat interloper. Everybody say hi. Everybody say hi to my little interloper here. To be fair, I haven't found a use for those monsters yet. I'm not really sure what they're for. Oh shit, more experience. Hell yeah. Nice. <laughs> uh, lickety. You saying hi to everybody? Yeah? That's all I can see. There's just this, there's this cat. There's this little f fuzzy interloper here. You're a fuzzy interloper, lickety. That's you. My cat is a fuzzy interloper. She wants the fish. She might. She heard fish meat. Came running. <laughs> Boom! You don't say. He misses swimming in the sea. I'm really confused at the layout of this place. Yo! I think I was in my way. There's the save point again. When I said fuzzy interloper, you heard it in Becky's voice. Oh dear. Oh dear. Forecastle deck. I think this just goes in circles if you walk around like this. Yeah, it does. But that makes me a little confused. How do you get off of this boat? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we should talk to the captain again. Maybe that's what we need to do. Have I found a quest here? No. I haven't found it. I, I, I've only found myself getting lost so far. It's a really confusing layout. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
happens if you tell the captain no i don't know yo lich thank you for 15 plus three bits star ocean until the end of time if i say no that it's a pretty ship i don't know i guess we could try it do you, or do you know the answer to that question i would be careful I'm going to look around just a little bit more. Oh, this is the wheelhouse, right? This is the one where you have to pick directions. Which direction do you want to go? Uh, East. Hello, Miss Mermaid. East. Ancient history's under there. East. Fresh fish jumping around. He keeps asking me. East. Of course it's great. Why? I'm so confused. Ding, ding. We got some enemies. Okay. I don't understand. I'm going to end up in Mordor. Nice. Nice. Oh, I didn't want to use that. Oh, well. That works. At least these things are easy. Oh, no, I need those crystals. Oh, I'm a snowman. <laughs> I have a snowman effect in this game. Oh, wow. It's just slowly killing me. Crazy. That was unexpected. What's up, Monty? How's it going? I don't see any indication for this. Like when you tell him where to go, I'm not seeing any indication of where I'm ending up. East. Miss Mermaid. Maybe the indication is his commentary. East. Ancient history's under there. East again. Fresh fish. West. Ancient history. West. Hello, Miss Mermaid. Is this Bling Wraith? Wow. They are Bling Wraiths, aren't they? They are actually that. Ding, ding, ding. Enemies. Okay. Yeah, I'm not really sure what this is all about. It seems like it's the same fight each time. That was a little disorienting. Wow, I only got one person. Get wrecked, Eagle. Poor guy. Poor guy. It's <laughs> destroyed. Hmm. If I need help, let you know. Very well. I will let you know if I need help. Which direction do we want to go? Hmm. With animal races? What, Forgotten Realms? It's the setting I'm using. Well, I think a lot of settings have those. As far as I know. Uh, let's go west. Of course, it's great, he says. West. Fresh fish jumping. West. Ancient history. West. Miss Mermaid. East. Okay, so it looks like you can keep going until you run into enemies. I should write this down. 
Pathfinder does? Yeah. Their official setting. What is it called? Like Pathfinder Society or something like that? I can't remember. Galarian? I don't remember the name of their official setting. Galarian. There you go. They don't have gunslingers and kingmaker? Aw, oh, damn. Rip. Rip. Guns hit touch AC. That's true, but they also have misfiring. So there's a trade-off. And ammo's... Their guns are hard to find. Ammo's hard to get. Yeah, gold per shot. Yeah, it's an expensive class. All right, so I'm going to make a grid. All right, so... We'll have S as start. We have mermaid east let's go east again history this is hard to write ancient history east again fresh fish okay Make that sound so simple, Viseral. I've already run out of room on my grid. I don't know how I'm going to write this down. Scratch this out. Let's try it again. All right. Start. Mermaid. Ancient history fish. It's great. Great. Attack. Okay. So if you go east, one, two, three, four, five times, you get attacked. Yeah, the, the, an issue I often see about D&D &D is people acting like just because there are options to do things you want to do doesn't mean you're ever going to get to do that thing due to cost or level or rarity or things like that. That's just not what D&D is about. It really isn't. All that is is min-maxing. It's basically ignoring the roleplay entirely. <laughs> Gunslingers have an archetype to use crossbows instead. That's pretty cool. But yeah, it won't hit touch AC. But you'll still get like the grid abilities and stuff. You still get the grid abilities, which are really nice. All right, let's try this again. All right, we're going to go west. It's great. Great. Go west again. Ain't it great? Fish. I think the starting point is a corner or where it loops. West again. Ancient history. Okay. I understand. So I can actually redo this. All right, let me try to redo this. I'm trying to start. Okay. That means I have a lot more room to write this down. Mermaid. History. Fish. Great. Okay. All right, Rose Guard. Thanks for hanging out, dude. 
Mermaid. Okay, we're at Mermaid. Now we're gonna go south. Salty air. Salty air. And then we're what's that I see? Ooh. <clears throat> you found something. Captain is calling you. Please come to the captain's cabin. Alright. I guess we found something. I hear there's a treasure map hidden in the Mechiv Caverns. Since the diggers like those kind of places, we gotta hurry. Wanna go get the map with the penguins, mate? Yeah. All right. Show him who's a real man. Nice. Mechiv Caves map. I think I've been here already. We're going ahead. You stay here and make a pudding out of that punk in there. All right. The treasure map. We found a quest. Can I move? They want me to take care of the helpful guy? What you weirdo you've grouped with? You gotta be crazy, kid. What do they want me to do? I don't really know. Boink. We got boinked. That's what they want. Boink. Underground level two. I wish these would take you back. It's too bad. Feels bad. I'm looking for a map. Oh yes, that's right. That's right. I am looking for a map. All right, let's look for a treasure map. Underground level three. Okay. Mush booms. Wow, these are dying immediately. Poison powder. Did I find the map? I literally just got here. No. You're the map? Very funny. Very funny, Viseral. Very funny. <laughs> Smart ass. <laughs> That's like Lorelana's most all time hated song because her kids wouldn't stop listening to it. <laughs> Drove her nuts. dead end lower lot of leaves chat room oh man no I don't want to fight oh shit Apparently there's a ton of other skills I still need to learn from what people have told me. Okay, experience. All right, let's look at these. We'll get rid of Moonsault. Um, we got all this stuff, man. There's a lot. I didn't even slide very much. You dumb cat. Oh my god. Push, cheer, crouch, retreat. I don't know. Let's try push. A lot of these you have to like combine them. There's like random as heck requirements to learn abilities in this game. The hell are you? Oh, you're hostile. That's what you are. And dead. Blank eye. Minor bits of experience. Mush booms. Dead. 
That looks super cool. This music always makes me think of Xenogears. It just sounds like the same composer. Underground level one. Damn, I didn't want to go here. Odd meat. Dead end. Crap. No dead ends. We're trying to find a treasure map. And also the master tapes to Laurelana's all-time favorite song. Right? Right, Laurelana? It's true, isn't it? Oh, I found these, the doinks. Doink. Doink, boink, whatever you call them. Getting lost looking for a map. Who checks out? Who checks out? Let's try the comb combining similar abilities and see if it does anything. Back roll and back flip. Why not? I'm super acrobatic. I don't think it did anything, but you never know. Dub bears. What? You dropped the treasure map? Dub. Okay, dub means yes. <laughs> I had to write down their stupid dictionary. Oh God, chroma key. Chroma key, why? See, we have the dub bears dictionary here. Not that Xenogears composer, you agree it sounds similar. Shimomura did do Super Mario RPG, Parasite Eve, and Kingdom Hearts. Damn, that's a pretty good resume right there. I don't know, just stand there. The penguins are here. There are arch enemies. Go get it back now. But be you. I don't have that word. No, that's not in our dictionary. But. Don't be complaining. Go now. A dubtionary. Oh, they ran into each other. Poor dub bears. Yeah, you tusk. You're not going to take over our caves. Find salvation through labor. Oh, okay. He's going to say bub. Where's bub? Bub is question marks. That's a, literally an inquisitive statement. Dubtionary. Dang. Easy peasy, XP squeezy. Not that it's a lot. It's really not. What's that? Looks like a map. Dub! Why don't you pick it up? Oh no! Daba Daba! What does that mean? I don't know. We don't have that word either. <laughs> it's not in our dictionary. Damn it. This is an incomplete dubtionary. I think it means I'm blue. Da ba da. Da ba di da. Da ba da ma. Oh, I know what song you're talking about now.
The bear is a filthy mouth. That's what it means. Boo boo. I think I have that one. That means dud bear. He's literally just said dud bear. Okay. I think he's commanding the others like dud bear. Dub. Like or yes or hi. It looks like they just tore it to pieces. Good. Good. Can you? Yo. Received a piece. <sighs> he fell down. Dub. Poor guy fell down. Oh. Oh well, that's the way I went. Shiny crystals. All right, cool. Dub bear, dub bear, dub bear. Give me dub bear. Not dub bears, durian. <laughs> durian. I blew daba di dajobo. Dajobu? It's not dajobu. Why must you lie to the community, Kane Bayou? Flip kick. Oh, it did work. Holy shit. Flip kick. A kick while doing a backflip. It's Daijobu now. There's no Daijobu. Rogers are coming. Who's Roger? Who's Roger? I don't know any Rogers. I got a piece. Roger, Roger. Retrieve the piece. Is it Daijobu or Daijobu? Remember when Michael Jordan was on SNL, they said the boss. They did, yes. It was a big hit here in the Chicago area. It's uh, Chris Farley and that dude from Cheers. And sometimes John Goodman. I don't remember who else. I think Mike Myers was there too. It was pretty popular in the Chicago area. <laughs> no surprise, really. All right, let's try this flip kick. Oh, sweet. It just auto does that attack that I've been using. That's pretty sweet. Odd meat. How does it feel to murder dud bears? Oh, they're just taking a nap. They're just taking a quick nap. They'll be fine. All right, instead of jump. I haven't used double jump a lot. They can't be dead, they say dub. It's true, they say dub after getting knocked on the ground. Hello, why are you here? here and the ground is all wet but i like it that's it that's all you say okay nice to meet you dang it Do 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 do
Squishy Celeste. Squishy. Dub. Aw, oh, poor guy. Sorry, I didn't mean to, but I totally did. Totally meant to. You're here for a treasure. What the heck is that thing? It's a little stronger than what we're used to seeing. But not much. I remember that, Skyler. That was pretty funny. He couldn't keep a straight face during that whole thing. Daily, what was it called? Daily Affirmations with Stuart Smalley or something like that. Al Franken was a weird dude. Sleepy powder and wishbone. Zero experience. Treasy. Blackened bat. I'm assuming that's not a baseball bat, but I'll check. It's it's Jarek Dieter's weapon. No, it's not a weapon. All right. I don't have to dribble the basketball fast or throw the ball into the basket. <laughs> just loved that. It was like such misguided good advice. <laughs> like on the extreme. Poor Michael Jordan could not keep a straight face during that entire skit. He was really struggling to keep it together. Animal bone. Okay. Where are the dumb bears? Where are the dumbstep bears? The lag tight room. These are usually dead ends. What did I just do? I did some cool attack. Nice. Spoils Menno Spear. That's terrible, actually. It's like starter gear. I wanted to snake by. Wishbone. I mean, a starter zone? Eh, I thought it would be related to the difficulty of where I got the quest from, but not not so lucky ow that was weird Oh yeah, Durian. Yeah, Chris Farley had a way of doing that. Just making people lose it. I know you told me that, and I told you that I thought the difficulty of this quest would be related to the area I was in. But it wasn't. It's only related to the area that it sent me to. Somewhat forcibly, so. Earth Splitter. Ooh, what's that? That sounds cool. Laurent Silver Two Handed Axe. Ooh, wow, that's pretty strong. Let's, let's see what that does. If it has any special abilities to it. I tried to hand an axe in the beginning. Dungeons don't scale what's placed. Feels bad. The, the two-handed axe was too slow. Sadly. I kept getting, like, locked in my, um, 
animations. Level up! Another Earth Splitter? What the heck? Okay. It's an axe that splits earth, not wood. I told you, trucks are for kids! <laughs> All right, uh, double jump isn't doing nothing for us. Really don't know which one of these to equip. It's kind of overwhelming. We named our planet Dirt. We did, didn't we? Can slide be kind of combined with any of this? I don't know. How about a spin slide? Let's try that. That sounds like something that could work. A spin slide? Let's try that. Slide and spin. I already got these dub bears. Run it in circles. Bear sub. Get over here. Got one. All right. Received a piece. Hurry up. Roger is a coming. Whoever Roger is. There. Boop. World's crappiest game of tech. Oh boy. Yeah, that checks out. You're disappointing me. Vampire Fang and Bird Knee. Doesn't look like spin sliding is gonna gonna play play nicely here. I'm stuck. There we go. Earth is the name. All these dud bears wanted to do is for you. <laughs> oh my god. Dub. Plop. Get wrecked, dub bear. I think I just have to catch them when they stop moving, like this. There. Bloop. Do I just stand here and wait? Oh. Or... That didn't work. Give back all the pieces of the map. Ah, he's here. Your pirates don't belong on land. Get out. Phil, don't I'll take this fin and. I need a fin, it's a wing. Well, I'm gonna take this wing and break it. We'll leave. I let go of my wing. Did I fail? What happened? So, Dunbears ripped up the map. That's all right. We weren't just weren't lucky this time. Yeah, it ain't much, but take this. What? What just happened? <laughs> okay, I think we failed or something. He gave me crabs. Wow. Wow. What a reward. What if there was like a time limit? I don't know. That was weird. I didn't get to f catch all the dub bears. 
All right, I see Elz Elzul. Elzul. By then, the quest is just incomplete. Huh. Treasure map X. I mean, I failed the qu treasure, shared the quest, or that I'm currently on it. I don't actually know. Looks like a failure to me. Let's go get Elzol. Yeah, I definitely failed it, didn't I? Hopefully it'll let me try it again. Getting crabs is what you can expect when you mess around with pirates. Oh, no. De -de -de. What's up, Desert Wolf? How's it going today, man? How you feeling today? Are you trash? Because I'm the garbage man, and I'm here to take you out. Hunter's Cheer 69 bonus 13 number 009. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Earl, for the 82 that went to World of Final Fantasy. Let's try that quest again. Let's try that one again. One more day of work before you start vacation. What are you going to do on vacation? You're going to have one of those awesome staycations going somewhere. We're going to try that quest again. This time with a bit more of a sense of urgency. We'll do our best. Going to Vegas. Oh, damn, dude. Awesome. I've never been to Vegas. I'd like to go someday. I hope you have a great time out there. That's the nihilistic penguin. He don't care about nothing no more. Okay. So we need to go east and south. Ain't it? Oh, I said that already. Wait, no, he changed it. Oh, fuck. North. Sea serpents and sea urchins. Crap, we're in a different spot. Shit. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, all right, all right, let's go. Why is my spin not working? There it goes. Uh, spin is really hard to do. Yeah, I started from a different place. I have to get my bearings again now. Feast meat. By play, you mean lose everything on red? Then yes. Hey, whatever's fun for you, man. Nothing gonna beat the man of the sea. Let's go north. Even the salty air smells good. Oh. That's where the... Cave quest was. Can you get the quest again? East. Freedom. Okay, well, I'm going to start recording these again. Freedom. East. Seagulls. Uh, ain't you tired of it yet? Um, no, let's do more. East. Wind. Good wind. Good wind. 
Ah, oh, dang it, we got enemies. You wanna see the sights? Anytime I've ever gone to a casino, it's always helped to go with the mentality that you're going to spend money to have a good time. If you go with the idea that you think you're gonna win money, you're gonna hate it. <laughs> you're gonna hate it. It's like spending money at an amusement park. Don't expect to have it when you when you leave. It's the same concept. I like how I can slide and trip a freaking shark. Wow, that was cool. Fish meat and scales. Okay. All right, Lorelana. Thanks for hanging out. Which direction do I want to go? Uh, east. Tazzle mozzles and cash pans. I don't know where we are. East. Oh, I know where we are. Okay. Tezel Mazels. Can I get that quest again? Once you fail it, does it let you get the quest again? Sea serpents and sea urchins. Okay. Serpents. Enemies. Crap. Spin, and it makes me like stunned. Spin is kind of lousy, isn't it? All right, I'll just I'll just kill these. Get rid of spin. It is terrible. I did like defensive lunge. I use the hell out of that one. I wonder if we can get a spin jump though. We'll try that. Jump spin. Which direction do I want to go? Uh, east. Fallen in love before, right? Uh, north. Freedom. Okay. Got a new spot mapped. All right, so we're gonna go back south. You can fail that quest for taking too long. Right. The question is, can I get the quest again? That's what I'm trying to do, but it's not in the same spot anymore. And it's great. The sea makes you forget bad things. Forget bad. Okay. Forget bad. Go east again. Really good memories. Good memories. East again. Rockin' won't make me seasick. Rockin'. South. Crab legs are great. Backup locations. I don't. Can I get the quest? Like, all I want to know is if I could keep doing the quest. Can I get it again? Like, I just, that's what I'm trying to figure out here. 
east. Ain't it? Oh, I said that already. Okay, said already. Not that quest? Oh, so I have to reset. Okay. Fair enough. We'll have to do a reset. That sucks that it locks content. Oh, well, that's all right, though. I need to take a quick break anyway. Do, do, do. I don't know. What was the last time I saved? I think it was on this boat. So that should work out. All right, let's do a quick break, folks. Give me some tunes to listen to on the break. I'm going to get a little bit more water. See if I got any snacks. Since we were talking about this game. How about a little, little song from the game? That'll work. I like this music. It's good. It's a good track. All right, folks. We'll see you. More Legend of Mana is coming right up after this. Sup, 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 my fellow insomniac nerds. This is High Nerd Dirty. Shouty, you the best. You the, you the best. And you're watching Phenomenon. Go on. Where you come for the games and stay for the tunes. Don't go anywhere. It's not like we're getting any sleep as it is. Toodles!
Breaking news. Insomniacs worldwide are gathering at a stream called the Insomniac Game Theater, hosted by a man who calls himself Phenomenon and a co-hosted by his cat called Purball. Some of the people there report entertainment, beam boozles, and extended runs of games who some say take longer than it should normally take. The FBI says this poses no threat to society and may even be beneficial. If you have any concerns, please direct them towards www.twitch.tv slash phenomenon. For the Twitch Break News Network, I'm Asian Mathon. Welcome back from the break, everybody. Hope you got your snacks, your drinks, and everything you need to enjoy a fun time here at Insomniac Game Theater. Hey, and just between you and me, I'm giving you a free piece of heart. Enjoy. Bye! Bye! We're back. Welcome back, everybody. I went ahead and got some, um... Wow, that is really freaking out the chat program. I went ahead and got some water and water. That's it. That's it. And I stretched. Of course, I stretched. I reset the game. We were right on the boat, so that's no big deal. We're ready to just kick it right back off with the good tunes. Doot, doot, doot. Thanks for sticking through the break. Just two water. Just two. Just two water. Not more. No more, no less. Five is right out. All right, Ram Tiger, we want to go to that map spot again. Miss Mermaid, so now we need to go south. What's that? Cap is calling you. All right, let's try to not. Yeah, it's only that one, dude. That. <laughs> let's try to not fail this again. I do want to go. Show him who's a real man. It's right before, right after my save, so it should be good. It should be good this time. Alright. Back roll and... Where's the other jump? Oh, it was back flip, wasn't it? Somersault. No. How did I do this? What was it? I don't remember. I mean, it was somersault. So it was a back flip. So maybe. High jump? Was it high jump? I don't remember. Let's go. Boink. What did I lock? Back flip, I think. Yeah, back flip. That's what I'm trying to get again. Why are you sending squids at me? High jump and back roll. I think that's what I have right now. That'll do. All right, so there are six down bears. I was right next to the last one too. Oh, that's a dirty trick. Dub dub, dub bear, dub dub. I want to play more RPGs. Back roll, high jump. All right, I think they went this way. They're secret, secretly Ewoks. I can see that. And an earth splitter. Nice. Okay. Is 
sorry, front flip. Let's see. Sorry, somersault and high jump. Combine that. Dub bears. There we go. Oh yeah, we have to get this first. Then they tear it up. Then we start capturing them. Oh damn, there's eight. I thought there was only six. I might not. I might not. I might not get this, but I think I can get this. I think I can get this. There's one. Shit. I didn't mean to zone out. I think this is going to be a really tricky quest. Time limits are rough. A monster egg. What the hell? That one looks weird. Here, I have an apricot. This is probably not the most wise use of my time. gonna leave <laughs> forget it it's, it takes too long to do these sometimes and I don't even know what they're for I have a couple monsters and I have no idea what they are I think I actually already got this. There's the moon salt. Never mind. I already did that. It's the moon salt. Summer salt and high jump was a moon salt. Try right, spin and high jump. Blackened bat. Do not combine it appears. I got a wishbone. Let's make a wish. Let's make a wish. Oh, nice. I got all of them. Of money. There's a dead end though. Crap. I don't like going the wrong way. Oh, I have to fight these again. That's all right. They're not hard. As evident by that. is an ass beater <laughs> dude kicks ass except on that one boss where he kept getting one shot that was kind of funny let's be fair that was pretty funny I went in a circle crap He's the only one I've really been able to find, except the Nicolo guy. Bud and Lisa? Oh, right. Yeah. They don't seem to do much. I suppose is one way of putting it.
another earth splitter we're getting good loot all right here we go there's two more Tricky to catch these guys. There we go. pieces so far, I think. I used Lisa a couple times. She's pretty strong. Just I'm more interested in character development. ground level I'm going in circles I think I'm going in circles here Back at the entrance. That's not good. Oh, here we go. That was good. Why did that work? I don't understand these things. There we go. Okay. It's like it works sometimes and it doesn't. All right. Roger isn't coming. I don't know who Roger is, but he's a coming. Dead end. Crap. Clear the floor. Roger's the caveman guy. Oh, okay. Trying to go as fast as I reasonably can here. He's the monkey man. Okay, I understand now. Get him, Solar Cook. You get him. I'm trying to, like, focus here. I'm not trying to be quiet, but dang it. These dead bears are big butts. The map is complete. Yes. <laughs> uh. Well done. Now that's a real man of the sea. Oh. We are men of the sea. That's right. Here. I didn't watch, but take this. He gave me the same reward <laughs> for failing or for completing it as it did for failing. Uh, treasure map, the end. All right, back to our house. We are she men. That's right, Mushroom. That is right. Beep, 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 beep. All right, go back home. All of us with the exact same joke. Why does he sound like Sean Connery? The better question is why wouldn't he sound like Sean Connery? Think about it. <laughs> Gigi. It's an important question to ask yourself. 
GG. Thanks for the GG. You know when you never get mail in this mailbox? It's the most disappointing mailbox of all time. Do, 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 do. I'm here for seeds. Boar melon. Need the lettuce? I do need the lettuce, yes. Cabadillo. There are another cabadillo's over there. Three seeds. You only gave me one seed. Oh. We give you two long seeds. I don't think we've ever tried that. I always just try to give him things I haven't given him yet. Okay. Back inside. Dun, 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 dun. finish that kid's quest mostly because I don't know who the wisdoms actually are there's nothing really that tells you who they are from what I could tell I think I just have to go around the world randomly talking to every single NPC that exists talk to him diggers diggers yeah they were digging for treasure it's true all right he's gonna write in his journal We'll see how many quests we've completed. A bunch. They're all scattered everywhere. Treasure map. Today my master joined a fight between the penguins and the dud bears. Why? I don't understand humans at all. Me either. Me either. Ba, ba, ba. Oh, this is on the PSN network? Or the PlayStation network? That's cool. It's a good way to get access to it for uh, people that otherwise don't have a PS1 or PS2 and, you know, don't have the game. Pet it. Boko is without a personality. Alright, so it looks like it just joins you for combat. Probably. Yeah. What? <laughs> Alright. I guess I'll take him, but I'd rather do quests. Yeah, every PS3 uh, can play PS1 games, Belvin. It is emulation. It's official emulation, but it is emulation. So some games you will run into problems with. Like Star Ocean 2, for example, will not play the end, the final movie when you beat the game on a PS3. <laughs> it kind of sucks. That was a disappointing ending when I beat that game on stream like three years ago or whatever it was. Doesn't take up NPC slot. Oh, that's cool. All right, I'll bring a chocobo with. Take me on a search for them. Sure. Let's go talk to a million people now. Mm -hmm. Beep, 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 dee, dee, dee. I can see why getting monsters could be useful since they're extra help. All right. Domina. How many wisdoms have I found? One. 
wonder if Fertility Goddess works with pets. We'll find out. It is a chocobo came by. Yep. That's why somebody named it Boko. I can't remember who it was, though. Oh, you can't give him any equipment. Why is your frying pan so much stronger than my glove? <laughs> it's a strong frying pan. Uh. Du, 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 du. Let's try cheering and jumping and we'll be a cheerleader. I know, right, Motsi? It's pretty cool, isn't it? I never did figure out what this statue is. All right, you're not a wisdom. Yo, Greeny, how you been? World Ranky Greeny. You bought more games. What the heck? What did you get this time? Have you been able to find any of the ones I was looking for on those two lists? Have I ever been hit with a frying pan? No, I can't say I've ever been in a situation where someone wanted to hit me with a frying pan, thankfully. You're looking for a friend? Good luck. Thanks. <laughs> that was a good talk right there. Uh, you haven't been able to find any of them? Wow. Did you check both lists or just the one? Because I have two lists. Pocky and Rocky 1 and 2. That is weird, yeah. He's Big Bear. Yo, Bear Menace. How are you, brother? That is correct, dude. I have never put myself in that situation. I have two lists, Greeny, not one. That's, that's what... I wasn't sure if you knew that there's two. Someone asked you to mail them a $90 Game Boy Color. Oh, wow. What games am I looking for? They're on both lists. They are on both lists, Mr. Bear. Here, we have the um, Restoration Project, right? Which is this one. Uh, and then we have the RPG Watch list, which is games I've never owned. I haven't owned a single one of the games on that watch list, and I've only played like four of those games briefly. All right, tutorial person. It's time to rock out on the organ. So yeah, those are the lists. Both of those links right there. I used to have them in those bit.ly link shorteners, but they don't work on mobile. So I had to get rid of that. I had so many people who were browsing on mobile would click it and nothing would happen. Da -da -da. That's a pretty crazy thing, Greeny. You, you, I would make them pay you front up front if it's that expensive to ship. What about the second list, Greeny? Are you a wisdom? Yes, tell me my fortune. Did I do Lunar 1? Not yet. No, that's we're going to play that after this. It says, try not to trip and fall over. Wow, that was worthless. Okay. Feels bad. Is anybody in this town wise? We will find out. Are you wise? No, you like the ground. You are simple. You, The fortune is... Yeah, that was actually the first fortune. Am I going to do the Sega CD versions? No. I don't own a Sega CD. I do not own a Sega CD, and I would rather do the remakes, not the the uh, originals. No, I'm not going to do PSN anything. I, I don't emulate. I don't want to do ports either.
They wanted to pay up front and mailing and everything, but you didn't know them. Oh, okay. I got you. Yeah, that would be a little uncomfortable. I could see that. I have a ton of consoles sitting right next to me, and I, I plan on to using them. I don't want, like, if I have all these consoles here, I don't want to just be like, oh, I'll just get a, like, a PSN port. I'm not going to do that. I want the original experience with the original console, and I want to stream those for all of you folks. Now, Lunar 1 was a game I owned on PS1, and it was supposedly this... For all, all intents, from what I hear, is the far superior version. So I'll be doing the same thing for Lunar 2 if I can ever get my hands on it. It's not easy to get your hands on a lot of those games. Hey there forever. How's it going? How's it going? You have Lunar Silver Star Quarry complete? I have that. I do have that, yeah. I don't have Eternal Blue. That's the one I'm trying to get my hands on. Thank you, though. Thank you. So, yeah, here's the um, second list. A lot of you might not have seen that before. It's this right here. These are games I've never owned. So far, Legend of Mana, Legend of Dragoon, and Shadow Hearts 2 have been gifted to me. I have Granja on the way. I've never played that or owned it. And Shining the Holy Ark is supposedly on the way too. So those are just a small part of this huge list that I'm trying to get my hands on. I don't blame you, Grangioth. <laughs> I don't blame you, man. I understand. Command for that list? A watch list, Neo. The command is watch list. Dark Cloud 1 should be pretty easy to get. Good. Good. I really haven't looked in depth at buying these games for myself because I have to budget every month to make sure that I'm not just, you know, going crazy with this stuff. It's it's not easy to get a lot of these. Piccolo. Nope. You're not a wisdom. You haven't seen any of those games? Okay, just keep an eye out for them if you could, Greeny. Since you have a, you know, you, you have a direct connection to that kind of thing. Thank you for doing that. What if I am crazy? Well, I think the ship has sailed on that one, Eagle. <laughs> I just try to hide it, all right? Why are you gonna call me out like that, man? Jeez. Jeez. This guy. I wish you could go in here. It looks like you should be able to. There's a lot of spots in this town that like, you just can't go. Super cray cray. Uh, what's over here? A dead end. Good. Good. That'd be awesome, Bear. That'd be awesome, dude. You have access to a lot of them and they are going to be much better in online prices. Right. I get it. You are not a wisdom. Dub. 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 Are you wise? Are you wise? No. Are you wise? Dub. 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 Rumei was talking to you. It's all good, man. I don't... You have thousand arms set aside? Oh shit. Seriously? Let me mark it. Dude, that's awesome. If you're serious about that, I'll mark it off. That'd be another one we can mark off the list. Dub! Totally serious, dude. Thank you. Amazing. Look at that, guys. We got another one we got coming for us that we can stream this year. Thousand arms. Oh, this is not a wisdom, it's a merchant. <laughs> Uh, currently, here's the currently slated order. 
um, for these games. This game, then Lunar Silver Star Story complete. If I get Eternal Blue, that'll be next. Otherwise, it's going to be a Saturn RPG. Yeah, I'll play Thousand Arms. I'll play it. I know it's going to be ridiculous, but <sighs> that's right. That's part of the experience. Nope. These are not wise people. And of course, we always have stuff on the next list as well. Um, I have to decide which games I'll put on the next list and which ones I just want to play. You know? Like, because some of these games, I just want to play them, and I will. But some of these games, I'll put on the next list for you all to vote on to determine that order. So, I'm not sure if Thousand Arms will be a next list game or not. I have to think about it. There's some things with the next list I have to think about in general, as far as um, votes that are currently on it. F for all intents and purposes, um, the next list is staying unchanged i did take some games off of it either because those games didn't really match the theme i had for this year or they didn't get any support for a real long time so i just pulled them because i kind of want to focus that next list a bit more and give newer stuff a good chance as well you can see if your local retro stores have eternal blue at a reasonable price you have seven things on that list belvin wow that's impressive He knows the wisdom dance. What's with this whooshing wind noise? Oh, I think I said always does that, huh? You're not a fan of donating. No worries, man. No worries, Belvin. All right, there's no wisdoms here. Wow, I misread my own bot and thought it said Bear Menace, who was just randomly posting my, my Twitter. <laughs> I was like, oh, thanks, Bear. Oh, right, that's my bot. I saw the bee in my brain just filled in the blanks for some reason. You don't have a PS1 to play those games anymore, and you don't plan to get one. Well, they'll be put to good use. Wow, Bear. Yeah, keep me posted, dude. That'd be awesome. You're going to be hacking your PS1 Classic like you did your NES and SNES. Oh, there you go. You should see if you can refurbish the PS1s. Are they broken? Or do they just need to be, like, cleaned? Alright, we'll talk to all these people. I'm just skipping through the text because I've already talked to them, but... This little guy that's traveling with me is trying to find the wisdoms, which are certain people that are really intelligent, I guess? or wise that's what we're trying to do hacking the PS Classic is the exact kind of project that Viseral enjoys doing he's all about streamlining, streamlining his gaming um, process it is good isn't it Motsi Can we go in? No? Alright. I thought this cat might have been somebody important, but no. Alright, there's nothing going on here. Hydrogen peroxide plus UV LEDs cleans old plastic, especially Super Nintendos. That, that method works on Super Nintendos. Their original shells, a lot of them turn yellow. And it's because of the chemicals Nintendo put on those shells to make them more fireproof. 
so that they were not flammable plastic. I think it's called like bromine or bromide, something like that. Bromine? Okay, there was no wisdoms there. This is not working out so well. What about the harbor? We'll try to harbor. Yellowing is an indication of bromine in the plastic. Right, yeah, that's it. Are you wise? Would you like to hear one of my songs? No, I refuse. How rude. Hello. Good talk. That was a real talk right there. What's up, S17? Dude's getting down with the music. <laughs> good music, isn't it? It's really good music. I can't use bromine anymore because it's carcinogenic. Oh, I see. My mouth's so dry, I can't whistle right now. That means it's time for some water. The visual style of this game is really good. The OST gameplay is fun. I'm really enjoying this game. <laughs> Durian. Uh. Inspector Boyd is on patrol. He's working right now. He's decided to stay here. It's a pleasant town. Okay. Want a drink? Yeah. 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 I'll take one. Water, please. Water. You're penniless. Why me? I'm only five years old. But I love extras of matter. Yes, yes. Whoa. That was creepy. That's creepy. Don't, I, I don't need a five-year-old fish hitting on some, some pole dancer. <laughs> it's awkward. It's pretty awkward. Is anyone in this town wise? Oops, I mean to do that. It kind of, yeah, it kind of really matters, doesn't it? <laughs> it really, really does. See, ferret privateers. Nobody in this town is a wisdom. Maybe that the people I have to talk to aren't in towns. We'll check the ship. If that doesn't pan out, then I will start revisiting old areas. He could teach the kid how to be a perv. Touche. Or just somebody who's hopeless. Hopeless when it comes to romance. Much like my hill for her her. That's not that funny. Sorry. There's one thing I have noticed. You know what that tree is up in the top left? That's different. All right, that says Buccaneer. Let's go. Super complicated. It seems that way. I'm still looking into it though. And it's nice that I can drop it and return to do other quests. You laughed. Thanks, Monty. Appreciate the support. The chocobo like pecks at the ground. Oh, that's the wrong way.
All right. Let's see if anybody in here will help satisfy this. I'm Captain Tusk, leader of them there pirate penguins. How do you like the ship? Ain't she a beaut? I already had this conversation. Dang it. Poor bud. Poor bud. We're not finding anybody. Let's try to figure out how to get off this boat. I don't know how to get off the boat. <laughs> Jack Sparrow is a wisdom? Maybe. I don't know how to get off the boat. Well, that's confusing. Maybe I should not have gone on the boat. I did start right here. Trapped forever! Did I talk to the captain and say no? No, I did not. Though I am not currently seeking hints or directions as to where to go. Davy Jones's boat you can get on but you can't get off nice we never did finish filling out this map all right let's let's go sailing if this is the only way I know how to get off the boat south the sea lets you eat all you want okay I have no idea where we are let's go back north Crab legs are great. Okay, I know where we are. Uh, salt eats. Okay. C lets you eat all you want. C eat, not salt eat. Derp. Scratch that out. C eat. Okay. All right, we didn't finish off this row. So if we go east... We'll see. He'll say, I said this already. Yeah, okay. Go east again. The sea knows everything. Okay. Sea knows. Okay. Writing it down. Go east again. Sea makes your dreams come true. So the sea dreams. Go east again. How far? How far? All right, we have not been south. Waka waka tastes as good as caviar. Well, that's odd. Waka 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 waka. Waka waka. Enemies, we got your enemies on board. All right. We fill out more of the map. <laughs> what is this ability I'm using right now? I don't know. I need to check my abilities. I actually have no idea. Master ability taunt. Okay. <laughs> sure. I'll take it. What the heck was I doing? Oh, it was cheer and jump, but now I have taunt. A taunt to anger opponents. Which direction do you want to go? East. See, lets you eat all you want. Okay, I know where we are. 
East again is new. I can keep going. Keep going. So I'm basically writing these messages in a grid and they seem to loop on themselves. Like this is actually like mapping out the area. He says a different phrase every square, I suppose, every location. So it makes it easier to map. All right, we'll go east again. Making me feel all philosophical. Philosophy, okay. Oh man, the wind stopped. Oh, that's not good. The quiet sea, oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Without wind, the ship can't move. Go fish or something. Go fish or something. Hmm. Let's see what the captain says. We need wind to move the ship. But a real man of the sea is grateful even when there's no wind. Oh. I think his meaning is go fish by like, go look around effectively. That's what I'm going to do. Got me threes. Go fish. Go fish, Ervin. There's no wind. It'd be looking good for fishing. Okay. I want to fish. Can I fish? No. All right. No fishing for me. Feels bad. But I wanted to fish. All right, let's look for a fishing rod. There's one. Damn. I went in a circle. I guess we're gonna explore the boat. Let's explore the boat. Maybe this is his idea of fishing. Boat exploration. Hatchway. We got a stair that goes down or a door. Let's see where the door goes. Boom! I miss swimming in the sea. Okay. High stakes, go fish in the bilge. What if that's what he meant? Like, go play cards. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny, actually. Lower deck. A pirate ain't supposed to fall in love, buddy. Don't talk to me like that. I'm not having any issues. Oh, we got fish. Taunting. All right. Yeah, fertility goddess does work on the pet. That'll help him catch up, won't it? Yo, I'm trying to play cards here. Taunt. I'm not sure what taunt does. I'll keep doing it though. Ow! That's a mean fish. Rotten meat. All right. Make some attack you. Well, they were here before we got stranded, so I don't think it's related. I don't think it's related, Motsy. Tragedies. Fish meat. Messy scroll. 
ether. Oh, taunt. Oh, 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 I see what you're saying. Yeah, you could be right. It's a lovesick pirate penguin. What a combination. I can't move. I can't move. There we go. Oh, that's because my controls are reversed. Let's do a lightning kick. Nice. Wow. That works exceptionally well. Grave dirt. Bring it. Uh, uh. Whoa. Kicking ass, bud. Not much in here though. Like it looks like this is a room full of treasure, but none of it I can actually take. A little disappointing. Minorly so. Eh, it's alright. Fake treasures. Just like these ones. Spam the button! Spamming it. I think it definitely is making them attack me. Moon crystal, dragon bone. Okay. Not really sure what those are for yet. We have yet to determine what any of that stuff does. Forecastle. I wanted to go fish. Fishing rods all over. Let me take one. I will go catch some sea urchins and halibut. How about some halibut? I wonder what halibut tastes like. I don't actually know. I've never had it. Probably a lot of seafood I've never had. Fish meat. Fishing just for the halibut? Maybe. It tastes like fish. I don't believe that story, Eagle. Where do you come up with these things? Tastes like fish. <sighs> That's a tall tale if I've ever heard one. There's one girl on YouTube put a list of top five Pokemon she wanted to eat. <laughs> wow. Never been to a seafood restaurant outside of Tappan D's. There's this pretty good one in the Chicago area called Papa Do. At least it used to be. I haven't been there in a decade plus. I love seafood. I could eat it every day if I could afford it. Easily.
I hope this isn't another timed quest. That would suck. Lightning kick time. Wow. Oh, I don't know if it hit him. Oh, they had iframes. Feel bad. room. Hmm. Looks like there'd be more than meets the eye here. Apparently not. Well, I found another quest. Though as of yet, nothing coming of it. Duck on geometry. It's just a big old fish. Yeah, I wonder. There's something I want to check. Because you could do it in the other mana games. Let's check this. Fig? No. Controller setup. Oh, that's cool. NPC. That. No. Dang. I was wondering if you could set their AI. Remember, like, in uh, Secret of Mana, they had the little grid that determined how aggressive they were, and you could determine how much they would charge their weapon attacks up? how often they would use them. It doesn't seem like there's anything like that in this. They were turning triangles into squares? Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Monster AI is determined by what you feed them. Oh, I should look more into that then. You can do that in Tales of Symphonia. You'd put the mage in the back and have them cast attack spells and first aid. Sounds like the way to go. Oh, this is a new looking enemy. All right, so far spamming taunt hasn't learned anything new. Let's do a defend taunt. See if that may makes a difference. See. You be penguins. Yes, you be. I think I'm going in circles at this point. I am quite lost. Let's see if these guys say anything new. He's still talking about being a dandy. You need wind, but a man is grateful even when there's no wind. Okay. That wind, the ship can't move. Go fish. Right. Talk to the guy fishing again, because he's so far the only thing that looked different. Yo, it's a void hunt. So I got a bottle here and caps really tight.
Oh dear, what did you do? You released a ghost. It's good to have you, Void. Hope your day was good, man. Oh dear. He unleashed a ghost. What a beautiful ship. I like it. Oh, good. Ah! <laughs> Look what you did. You unleashed cosmic horror upon us all. What level is my pet? Oh, it's level nine. It's getting two levels. Hit it with a magic weapon. It's right. It's a, it's incorporeal. You'll miss otherwise. Oh, there it is. Uh, yo. Disappeared. Uh. And it was a proton stream. Oh, dear. Yo, there's a ghost on this boat. The ghost has got to be put back into the bottle and returned to the sea. Guess you're going to find the bottle first. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. All that exploring. We'll have to do it again. We can do it again. We can do it again, my friends. We can do this. Yo, have you seen a bottle? Seen a bottle? Ghost ain't gonna scare him. He says. Is the portal. Great for defeating Ganon and catching ghosts. That is a factual statement. That is a factual statement right there. We all saw the legend of the master bottle. <laughs> oh man. What a ridiculous occurrence that was. Let's see, where's this go? A different section. I just keep saying ack. Ooh, save. That's gonna be useful right now. I think I have an idea of where I am. We need to go downstairs. You has been saves. What has you been saves from? What is this barrel? Don't come this way. Leave me alone. Pretty girl's here. Pretty girl. Just back from the beach, maybe. <laughs> Here you go. Here's the bottle that ghost came from. Nice. All right, now we have to catch the ghost. Now we can't find it. Oh, boy. Now that we have the bottle... I'm looking for another stair down, perhaps? Or up. We'll go up. I have a feeling it's going to be in that pointless storeroom that I, what we found earlier. The one that'll end up being not so pointless. This way! Hurry! Oh, shit. Okay. Maybe I was wrong. Here we go. I have terrible abilities for this. Oh, damn. 
I have really bad abilities for this. Really bad. I think I missed. I did. I can't change my abilities in combat. Crap! Flashing. I don't like that. Now my chocobo. Bizarro. Like Bizarro? Or like Bizarro? This is a good game so far. Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Oh, I can still hit him down here. Just not as easily. Oh, he's charging. Let's get away. Oh, uh, <laughs> what the hell? Oh, no, I'm mini. That's not good. Okay, it didn't last very long, thankfully. Don't kill my chocobo! Poor chocobo's down. I have the worst ability set right now. We're doing okay though. Oh, I got stunned. really well. Okay, that wasn't bad. A chocobo level? <laughs> nice. Okay. Done. Now well, that's a real man of the sea. Yeah. It ain't much, but take this. Wendell Silver. Hmm. What did he give me for the last quest? I don't even know. The Quiet Sea. All right. All right. Completed another quest. We'll go back to our house. D and G G, very funny, very funny. Emilio, very funny. The joke never gets old. <laughs> but I do. I'm getting old. My back hurts. I don't know. I don't like going outside. It frightens me and other reasons. What did we get? Did we get any new weapons? No. Did we get any new armor? We have two dragon bones. Two wish bones. That's it. No new armor, no new weapons. I don't know what he's giving me. It was a terrible, terrible combination of abilities I chose there. I can't even use secondary materials yet. I can't use any materials. We should feed Boko and make him like crazy, hyper aggressive, strong. It's an older meme, but it checks out. It does. All right, so we have to see what f food is good.
Produce. I think it's produce. Right. Alright. Uh, we need to look at what these are again. I have it from... Somebody DM'd it to me. I watch, I think, dude. Because they're so obscure. Uh, okay. I don't know where that DM is. Marcasta also did at one point. There we go. Okay. Let's see. This gives plus charm minus aggression. So I don't want to give that. Did I talk to the plant? Not yet. I got to do that. Don't let me forget. This gives plus power, defense, aggression, and arrogance, and minus magic. Conchurnip. Actually sounds pretty good. A conch and a turnip, yeah. Sweet Maui. Sweet potato shaped like a Maui. Plus defense, magic, luck, and laziness. And minus skill. Uh... Well, let's see what stats my critter has right now. The maggot magic conch. Raw strength, technical attack, defense, magic, defense. HP, spirit, charm, luck. He's very neutral in everything, so I could mold him however I really want. If I really wanted to. All right. So he doesn't, he's completely neutral in just about everything. So let's look at the foods and see what would be good to just make them really aggressive in combat. Pair of heals. So con con Kernip would be good. Pair of heals gives power, defense, charm, and arrogance and minus spirit. Okay. This gives power, HP, aggression, and arrogance. Mango elephants are pretty good. I don't know what arrogance does, though. This gives defense and calmness. Okay. Power and aggression. Dice barrier, really nice. Just plain power and aggression. All right, so hold on. Let me write these down. Dice berry are good. Mango elephants. Okay. Power skill and Fred. Oh, friendliness. <laughs> and minus... Scheming. Okay. Was that an ass with a nose and eyeballs? It kind of looks like it, doesn't it? Where'd it go? Yeah. Yeah, it's an ass with a nose and eyeballs. That's right. The fruit gets plus Fred. <laughs> Power skill and Fred. Uh... Apple socks, skill, charm, calmness, and indecisiveness. Nah. Whale of Mado. Magic, HP, and charm, minus defense and aggression. No. Spiny carrot, magic, spirit, calmness, and indecisiveness, minus skill. No. Skill, charm, scheming, and laziness, minus hit points. No. Bumpkin, power, spirit, Aggression, arrogance, schemingness, and laziness. Wow. That really drastically affects its uh, personality. Personalities, I want it to be aggressive. Like, really aggressive. Skill, hit points, spirit, and indecisiveness. Minus power, no. Defense, HP, scheming, lazy, no. Magic, scheming, gives hit points, loses indecision. That's just pure good. Plus hit points. Spring Nana is good. There's nothing negative about that. Spring Nana. 
Majestic is <laughs> Magic, charm, and aggression minus calmness. Cornflower is good. Skill, magic, charm minus HP and scheming. No. Magic, charm, calmness minus aggression. No. Defense, spirit, Fred, and Lon. Lonely. Oh, okay. Magic, luck, Fred. Loneliness. No. Defense, Charm, Calmness, no. Power skills, Spirit, Loneliness. Wait, what's power again? Is that the one I want? Yeah, for attacks. Power, Luck, and Aggression minus Calmness. Ooh, Dea Laurel, that's really good for me. Plus Charm minus Lazy, that's good. Plus Spirit minus Lawn. Pine O'Clock. Plus power, skill, defense, magic, HP. Wow. It adds a lot and takes away a lot. Wow. Okay. Lowers aggression, calmness, scheming, and friendliness. No, poor Fred. Gold Clover. Skill, luck, and friendliness minus scheming. Rhino Lope. Power, hit points, and spirit. Rhino. That's That fits what I want to do. Skill, HP, Calmness, Indecisiveness, Fred, and Loneliness. No. HP and Fred. All right, Cherry is good. We do like Fred. Defense, Magic, Scheming, no. Defense, HP, Spirit. No. No. Just plain old luck on that. That's interesting. <clears throat> wow, Toadstool Shed is incredible. There's nothing negative about that. Power, skill, defense, magic, HP, spirit, charm, and luck. All of it. All right. There's no friendliness that is now can canonically f friendliness. <laughs> uh. Yes, feed Boko. Feed box is empty. I know. Do we have any of the good stuff? Toadstools? No, I don't see any. No, we don't. Okay. Do we have um dice berries? No. Bumpkin was good, right? No, it wasn't. No, bumpkin was bad. Mango? No. Spring and Nana, Cornflower, Dialora. Spring and Nanas we have. Oh, it looks like you can only give him so much. Cornflower, Dialora, Rhino. Oh, I have Rhino. Rhino Lope. His feed box is full. Okay. Cannot feed until food is gone. I see. McClellan, how you doing today, man? They eat every time they level. Oh, so that's how that works. All right. Mm -mm -mm. I did have corn flour. Oh, we'll do that next time. That's fine. I'm doing well, McClellan. This game is cool. We still have nothing in these workshops. Feels bad. Makes me wonder what the hell I'm missing. It's been a long year. <laughs> We're just getting to the end of February. <laughs> oh, boy. Talk to the plant. You're right. Okay. You're right. I did forget. We didn't find a single wizard. Wisdom for poor Bud.
see a ghost. I did see a ghost. <clears throat> I probably won't unlock it, dude. If I was supposed to already, it's probably too late. Oh well. Don't really care that much. All right, let's see what he wrote. Um, quiet sea, right? Penguin reeled in a bottle ghost, and all the penguins on the ship ended up collapsing. That is really scary, but I wonder how the ghost fit inside a bottle. Starting to get restless. Why are you getting restless, Durian? Why are you getting restless? What are you going to do about it? <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh. We didn't find anything with, with poor old Bud there. That's okay. Alright, let's get some more produce. Apricot. Sweet Maui. Lily pods. None of those I wanted. Orca plant. I didn't want that either. Feels bad. Round seed. Small seed. A lot of big seeds. Give him small and flat. Small and flat. He om noms the seeds. The tree does have a face. It's a. Uh, yeah. The tree is words to say to all of us. All right, bud. We'll take you out on another trip some other time. Are you supposed to just continuously lead like a chain away to the other corner? Don't answer that. Never mind. I'm just going to randomly place things now because I don't know. What do we have? We have a spoon, a sand rose, an ancient tablet, and a broken doll. Let's try the spoon. Spoon! Let's try the spoon. How far is that from home? One, two, three. Three from home. Sure. There is no spoon, not anymore. It's turning into something else. <laughs> now what do we have here? The underworld, interesting. I should probably bring some help along for that. Let's go get Elazul's help. Bony bards. It did look like the slime from Breath of Fire. I know. That's exactly what I said, too, on top. I just saw your message. Let's go, Elazul. We're going to visit the underworld. Never did find his friend, Pearl. Come on, let's go. Mm hmm. Is this game in the Final Fantasy universe? It's not, but there's a chocobo in it for some reason. Small tie-in, I suppose. A marketing thing. It's the same company that made Final Fantasy. Alright, let's go to the underworld.
Macabre Tombstone. Hey, Darian. Let's get out of here. What? Come on, what are you doing? I'm trying to go in the underworld. Hmm. That's true, I do have a Final Fantasy VIII save on the memory card. Well, Elizabeth does not want to go to hell. Okay. Interesting. I wish there was a way to see if these artifacts, like what they are. I don't think there's a way to see. Not without putting them down. All right, let's go get rid of Elizol. How many people can you ask what held me thrilled about it? I know some people. <laughs> <laughs> I know a couple. All right, let's bring Bud. Maybe Bud will go with. Maybe Bud thinks there's wisdom to be had in hell. Let's go, bud. We're going to hell. Now I'm talking. You never played a Final Fantasy game. I mean, you have the capability now. You should be able to run. If you can run Ocarina of Time, you can run old Final Fantasy games easily. You have the capability. And myself and others would be more than willing to help you set up uh, emulation for that at some point, if and only if you want to. I remember the last time you mentioned in Discord, you basically got like brigaded by like five people all being like, use this emulator, use this one, do that. And you're just like, whoa, <laughs> like, let's, let's take a step back. I'm like, whoa, let's slow down here. Everybody wanted to do it. All right, let's try it again. The heck is that? Totally weird, man. Damn it. I can't do anything with it. I mean, in his case, you know, I would just have him use ZSNES or not ZSNES, um, SNES 9X. It's probably the most lightweight one he could get. It's the most lightweight one anyone could reasonably get right now, I think. SNES 9X. I'm not bad enough to go to hell yet. Now you suggest kicking puppies. Oh, I see. I wonder if it's because I have a teammate. I'm going to go there once more without a teammate. If nothing happens, we'll just place another artifact down. You have the one from when you did retro relay? Oh, there you go. I forgot about that. That at work. Then you are you're already set up. I would say if you're gonna play a super uh, Final Fantasy game, I would start with Final Fantasy VI. It's like the most accessible one to new players of the franchise, in my opinion. And then if you really like it, you can branch out and try the others. But six is awesome. Six is awesome. Aha, there it is. There's the hook. Warrior, I shall test your strength. 
The Fallen Emperor. Have you awakened? I am Locke, Dragoon of Draconis. Dr what happened? I would never recommend anyone new to the franchise start with Final Fantasy 1. Pretty much never. That game has aged very poorly. I still like it a lot, but God, it is unforgiving. I brought you down into the underworld because I thought you were a powerful warrior. If you want to know more, you should come down below with me. All right. We shall descend into the depths. Go at your own pace and I shall follow. All right, we got a new teammate. I still would never recommend Final Fantasy 1 to anybody new to the franchise, ever. I don't care which version it is. What a luck! The new versions are much improved over the original, for sure. But for someone who basically has played maybe a handful of RPGs, Final Fantasy 1 is always the wrong answer, regardless of the version. Oh my god, Shane, you troll. <laughs> Just a resolve! Uh, how's it going, Mr. Is Games? How are you, Mr. Is Games? You guys should check out that man's channel. He's a good streamer. Good streamer. Good real light, late night streamer. It doesn't count. It's not a main series, it's a spin off. Alright, taunt kind of sucks. Let's do a spin taunt. Alright, oh yeah, we want to check this guy out. Lark. Alright, Lark. Attack, please, dragons. More damage to dragon monsters. Alright. Cool. Final Fantasy 2 is Saga Prototype. That's a fair statement, I would say. Saga Frontier is a game I'd like to stream someday. <laughs> I'd put it on the next list. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I would give it a shot. I, I did beat it as a rental, I think, or it got far in it, but boy, that game is, oh, it's tough. It's tough. Oh, I thought it was an enemy. The problem wasn't the enemy scaling. The problem was the leveling system and how you get abilities in that game. That was the problem because you could effectively sock lo soft lock yourself in that game due to bad luck. <laughs> Like legitimately, ugh, the game's leveling system was trashed here. Any game that could soft lock you due to RNG is very badly designed. <laughs> uh. We're shadows, shadows. This looks cool, this area. Always recommend starting with Final Fantasy VI. Start the series. Would I ever play Assassin's Creed? No. No. It's just, it's, it's not my kind of game, really. I really have no interest in those games. And honestly, I'm not trying to do really modern gaming at all, for the most part. I'm trying to, to focus more on retro and RPG games in general. Now, modern RPGs, there will be exceptions, like possibly Vampire 
um, the Masquerade 2. Oh, here we go. We got some combat. I clicked spin, didn't I? Damn. Jacko Beanie Rock, Baobab Wood. No experience, no money. Fall damage, I would guess, Viseral. You got good at jumping and the enemies got good at ripping your spine out through your ass. Oh, because you level too high in the scaling. Yeah, that would do it. <laughs> yeah, the scaling. Yeah, because the enemies level with you. And if you're only really good at non-combat skills, you just get reamed. <laughs> uh. doing Linky. You inspecting? It's inspection time, everybody. It's inspection time. Hello, little puss. You want to lay down? You want to hang out? You going to move my camera? Thanks. What are we inspecting? I'm not inspecting. The inspector is here right now. She's inspecting. How did I pass? What do you think, little kitty? Did I pass? I don't know if I passed, everybody. She's got some pretty strict standards. All present their hands. <laughs> She's sitting on my keyboard. Get off of there. Little brat. You are causing trouble, young lady. Lickety. What are you doing? Moving the camera, I see. <laughs> Hi. Do you want to lay down? You don't like sitting on my lap. She does if there's a blanket on it, but I would be way too hot. All right, so far, Taunt has not combined with anything. It's been very disappointing. All right, let's. I like moon salt. What else did I like? Defensive lunge. There's that. Yeah. Yeah. Crystal Chronicles is a spin off of Final Fantasy. Was in the treasure chest at the start of the stream. I don't know what you're talking about. To be quite honest, Video Wizard. But I don't think I've ever found a treasure chest in this game yet that has had any loot that is worth noting. Treasure chests are pretty underwhelming in this game. I think they're like randomly generated or something.
Okay. They're generated from tiered loot tables. Okay. I think I just went in a circle. Crap. Getting lost already. We just got here. Hi. What you doing? Second level. Okay. Just while he's going to a specific type. That makes sense. Hmm. Suppose we'd better go see Obon. 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 We could go on if you wish, but all doors around here are closed. You must report to Obon first, or else you won't be able to get around. The chambers are near here. He is a wisdom. The manager of departed souls. Ah, so we found our second wisdom. He keeps the dead from getting out of hand. I see. He looks like a turnip with six arms. He, he's an onion. <laughs> He's an onion. Ah, he's a freaking onion, man. <laughs> I am Urban, keeper of the underworld. <laughs> okay. Block, Dragoon of Draconis. Why do you bother me bringing this person down here? As a Dragoon, I must follow the will of my master. But this time, you've brought quite a lively one. So will Draconis' evil plan succeed now? I'd love to help out if you had a nice spot for me. If you really mean it, then give permission to perform the baptism of flames. But if those words were meant to insult my master, then mind you. Permission granted. Receive the baptism of flames. The shadow will guide you. Reg, that's too deep, man. It's too deep for me right now, Reg. Place I can help you around. Where to? Uh, the baptismal chamber. Once the baptism is done, closed doors are open. Ask the shadows there to perform the baptism. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Hey, newly dead. Watch out for that guy. Uh, okay. Watch out for that guy. Watching out. For shadows. So what's on your mind? We have permission. Perform the baptism of flame. Here you go, daddy -o. All right. Yeah, it wouldn't let me bring other NPCs here, Reg, so that's probably true. Now you can go to the bottom levels. Let's go. Our master Wait. Master! Master! How do I... Do it. I can't go in there. All right. I guess I don't go in there. Must have opened something else.
This onion man? No, it's loot. Ghost's howl. It's probably more crafting. Shit. Yeah. So much crafting nonsense I can't use. <laughs> I don't get it. It's like 99% of the loot I found is like, hey, look at this thing you can never use. For 20 hours of gameplay. <laughs> what the hell? Third level. I didn't finish the second level. It's in here. Oh, here we go. I aren't playing like a typical player. I really honestly don't know what that means. Loot! Angel feather. More crafting stuff. You never got crafting on your playthrough? I may be stuck down here, but I'll never give up. Who are you? You look familiar. The Joby will survive. We do not exist simply to be stolen. Oh, is that the guy was killed? We can live without Florina and without Pearl. Sure, Diana would say the same thing. Dangerous Eye. You never crafted either? Wow, they really didn't make it easy to find crafting if so many people missed it. I'll double check and see if any of these are uh, gear I can use. Not weapons. Not weapons or armor. Then I have no interest. Oh, I'm kind of spun around now. I somehow ended back up at the baptismal chamber. Running in circles. Empty. There must have been loot that I already got. Field circles, man. A lot of purple doors. I think I went in all of them. Yep. We definitely ran in a circle. Time to check every single door. That looks like it leaves. I was just there. Shit. Empty room. That must have been loot. Oh, here we go. Okay, let's do this. That guy looks familiar. I don't know why. We did it! Spoils. Moonrock Tiara. Ooh, that sounds like it could be equipment. It is. Slightly less defense. Let's see what it does. It has perf defense against confusion. A three spirit defense. 
I like it. Let's use it. I like the status defense that it gives me. I'm going to use it. And it gives me a little extra magic defense. All right. Moving further in. Oh, wrong button. There we go. Look at that. That was something. Levitine. That was a, a sword in a Star Ocean game. It's a sword in this game. It's better than what I'm using. All right, I'll try it. I'll try it. I don't have any skills though. <laughs> I don't have any. Oh, that's funny. We're still going to try it. All right, I'm tired of taunt. Taunt is, is poo butts. Poo butts is the word. The key word here, poo butts. shall see if you are worthy enough to serve my master. Are you ready? I am not ready. If this is a boss, then I'm just gonna switch back so that I actually have skills. <laughs> oh, fuck. The timing. I'll worry about that stuff later, I guess. R2 was lightning kick L2 I don't remember I think it was rolling slam I don't know I honestly don't know what these do jawbreaker flip thrust sure let's go I am ready here we go Yata! Shrine of the Silent Faces. That's a little fireball. Oh, I need you. Oh, I need you. Here we go. Those mouth, those walls are. Oh dear. What the fuck? No, don't hit my chocobo. Jerk. Uh oh. You just ruined my attack, teammate. Thank you so much. This thing does not stick around long, does it? Those are some like Super Nintendo Chrono Trigger style sounds. That's what it sounded like. Not fair. Oh, he's doing something mean. The faces are angry. Whoa. Oh, okay. He's almost dead.
That sounds like Chrono Trigger laser beam sound. There you go. I just body slammed him. Squish! Credible. My master would be most pleased. Really? What if I don't care? I'll take him on too! Pulpit of Eternal Flame. Prepare yourself for my master comes. Lord Draconis. So you finally found one, Lark. One who can defeat Itodama. Yes, my lord. Enough pleasantries, great warrior. My name is Draconis. I summoned you for a reason. I want you to return the magical power stolen from me by three dragons. Why? Long ago on the surface, I was once the Emperor of Dragons. But the three jealous dragons stole my powers. I was made to wander the underworld in this weakened form. They awaited the coming of one who could defeat the three dragons in my stead. So what my master wants is for you to defeat the three dragons. That's what he just said! Either way, you must cooperate. Because if we leave you as a half-spirit, you will eventually turn to nothingness. Good. I could not stand letting so strong a warrior fade away. If you defeat the three dragons, I will return you to your previous form. Reject the offer! Oh my god. Fine. I am indebted to you, strong warrior. My master told me to give this to you as proof of our contract. As fuck, Skull Lantern! Prepare yourself. We are off to hunt the dragons of knowledge. They think they protect order in the world, but we do not need their domination. If you do not like what I am doing, you are free to do as you will. But do not forget, this is an important opportunity to test your powers. Okay. That's right, Monty. The Fallen Emperor, the end. Let's go turn it in. Let's go turn it in, okay? Was that sound fun to everyone? I have literally no power of Undyne at home. Wonder how that happened. <laughs> Maybe we can do something about that. Eh? 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 Do -do 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 -do. We cannot escape your destiny. Oh, I will escape it. I'm refreshing chat real quick. Because I want to see if this works. Let's see if this works. Yes! I see it. There you go. <laughs> uh, down to Underworld. That's right. That's where we went. No, Regacy, quit giving people epilepsy. It doesn't work on stream chat. Oh, I have to refresh that. That's why. Load cash. No new work. I just added an emote. I probably have to reload it entirely. I'm not going to do that, though. That's all right. We'll get back to that. Uh, let's see. What's new? Flame of Hope? No. Fallen Emperor. A dog-faced dragoon came out and took my master downstairs when master touched a tombstone. Okay. How am I supposed to picture this? It's really tough. It's pretty tough, isn't it? All right, we're gonna save. Then we're gonna put some as fucks on the ground. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. We should see if our we got any new produce, and then we should see if we need to give more food to Boko. Boko McJoko. Yo, Crystal Sin. What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? Well, Lamato. 
Look, and here's Sky, Sky So Fly's favorite food. A butt with eyes and a nose. Also known as Peach Puppy. You got an apricot. <laughs> That's the best one. Apricot. Fishy fruit. There's literally nothing I wanted. Oblong. Let's see, let's do oblong and crooked. Toad's tool shed is the best one. Yeah, I've never gotten one of those. Maybe someday. I'm just completely guessing though, as far as the placement of those go. Feed Boko. Did he level? Oh, he didn't level. Okay. Well, never mind then. That was not a very good place for him. Alright, we'll go get Elizul. And then do as fucks. <laughs> oh, jeez. Jeez. How about I just do those now? I'll do those now. Then I'll get Elizul. How many do I have? One, two, three, four. Okay. I'm trying to remember which one of these I got first. I think the rose. Cool. Doom on desert. Neat. Ancient tablet. Boink, boink. The Mindus ruins. Broken doll. I'll put that right here. The fuck? Junkyard. And then finally a skull lantern. Ooh, that's a pretty mountain. Norn Peaks. All right, so we got a whole bunch of new areas we can look at. Let's go pay Elizul a visit. He's a good buddy of ours. He's birdie. He's kind of a jerk, but he stands by our side and kicks some ass. I'm okay with that. Wrong music, but I like this music too. Does he ever say anything new? He probably does, but not yet. I wonder what happened to Pearl. We haven't seen her in forever. And that's Cell. For some reason, Cell is in this game. He's here to start the second coming of the Cell games. Cell with moose horns, yeah. <laughs> uh, he am grateful. He am grateful. There was somebody in this uh, room once, upstairs. Not today. 
All right. So we have several new places that I'm probably going to go look at one of them. Let's see. Take a look at everything we placed down and I'll make a decision based on that. So we have the, uh, no, not the underworld. We have the Stuma Desert, the Junkyard, the Min Mindus Ruins, and Norn Peaks. I think I'll start with the desert since it's the nearest. It's the nearest. Wait a minute. Since more areas are placed down, that potentially changes NPC spawns and what they say in various towns. So now I'm considering going to each town really quickly to see if I see anything new. If I'm right, then I may start seeing new things. I'm going to take a quick run through Domina real quick because I want to test that theory. We just, I've never placed four things down at the same time. We'll see if anything has changed. Every town, Matsi. Every town. Every one of them. You're going to go with me, Matsi. You owe me a beer. I've just decided randomly, for no reason in particular, that you owe me a beer. In each town. <laughs> He's like, I'm coming. All right, and I'll get you some too. It's a, de it's a deal. It's a deal. Hopefully we can sell more lantern. <laughs> Those damn lanterns. Dub! Wait, no. Here's my response to selling more lanterns. Um Dubba Baba Dud. Gak. Okay, there you go. Let's dust some dud bear for you. Stupid bears. <laughs> Tell my fortune. How dare you talk about my mother like that? <laughs> it says fish may grant your dreams of passion. Hmm. Interesting. Might be more missions with the uh, the ship. I'll keep that in mind. That was a specific fortune. Usually they're not. Usually she just is like, my feet hurt or some nonsense. Like supremely useless. You know, as as nice as this area looks here, there's never anyone here. It's kind of disappointing. <laughs> okay, thanks. I hate it. <laughs> Mr. Is Games bringing the sass. I will say uh, one minor disappointment with this game. These cool looking buildings all over the place and you can never go inside them. It almost feels like the game is unfinished. Like Xenogears vibes. like open areas like that that don't lead anywhere it's just a wall instead of a transition makes me wonder what could have been now I haven't beat the game yet so maybe that'll change way late in the game I'm not sure maybe we'll find out you imagine how good Xenogears could have been right man talk about wasted potential that was one of the best stories I think I've ever seen in an RPG and I didn't play it until last year for the first time. <laughs> so that's saying something. That story was heavy. Wow. All right. Um, Lumina. This place usually doesn't have anything of interest. 2000 error square. You would have been like, slow down, take your time and do it right. Yeah. Yeah. No joke there. I mean, they did Final Fantasy nine, right? That game never felt unfinished to me, and that was 2000, but I'm sure you can think of examples, Video Wizard, of games that I've played, like Xenogears, um, that didn't pan out.
Yeah, I think that's why the merger happened. Because right around then is when they really s started churning out a lot of games and not getting enough of a return. They were basically forced to mer do a merger with Enix. Like, not forced, but the other choice was bankruptcy, effectively. From the way things were going for them. Nothing's happening here, sadly. I feel like my theory is not going to pan out. I want to be wrong, though. I would like to be wrong. Doba Baba! Ah, this is different. Where are you going? You just peaced out again? He gone again? Diddle had it. What's got to do him this time? Oh, well, it's not my business. I mean, it is. It's literally your business, bub. Dub. How's everything going? You didn't teach me the whole language. That's how it's going. I feel cheated for your free language lessons. Bub. Bub. Dub. All right, we have to find the guy again. So placing those down did help. Feels good, man. Intuition paid off. Well, while we're on this quest, we'll finish checking this town, and then we'll try to find that guy. Are they in here? Probably not. Nope, it's just mineral person. Exactly, I watch. Exactly. See? Same wavelength. That's how it works. <laughs> Alright. So many unused doors. Right, Video Wizard. They would have lost their intellectual property to stay afloat. Merger seemed to be the only reasonable course of action. And I'd say, given the circumstances, they made the right choice. All right, I'll check the other side of this town real quick. Come on, Nicolo, why don't you go with me? You're a bro. You're a real broski. I do appreciate the uh, replay value this game offers. Like, I can, I've can, i already been thinking during this playthrough. Like, huh, how would I do it a second time? How would I place everything differently? I don't really know how the placement of things affects the zones other than the distance from, the, from your house determines, like, the level of the area. Um, but otherwise, I'm just kind of winging it right now and learning as I go. The icon looks different. The tree is bigger. That's weird. I wonder why. I don't know. Interesting. Well, that guy left. Gave us absolutely no clues as to where he went. And I'm on a quest right now. That's not good. Where the fuck did he go? <laughs> Bruh, where did you go? I really hope you don't fill this entire map because I have these two really nearby spots that I never used. And if I get like super end game artifacts and have to place them right here, I'm going to be disappointed. We'll see how it goes though. Chocobo sniff his scent. Oh, wouldn't that be something? Like I ever mentioned going somewhere. It has to be one of the new zones. It has to be. What else could it be? It has to be. Alright, let's do the desert, I guess.
I, I don't have any leads at all. Huh. How horrifying. How horrifying. It's too much of a shock. Oh. Yo, why is this cactus like a Venus flytrap? I can't believe this! What should we do now, huh? What are you doing in a place like this? Is there a problem, ma'am? Someone bothering you, ma'am? Should we catch them all, ma'am? Gotta catch them all! Charge! Cut it out! Stop it now! Aw, uh, Miss Kath... Kathinja? Kathinja. My bot isn't supposed to show up on there. I thought I had that fixed. Isn't there like an ignore list? Uh, message management. Uh, yeah, that's it. Let's see. Let's try that. Bonnie McGee at. Okay. That should do it. And then we do a bot command. So, like Twitter. Sweet. All right. This person's not with me fiance. My fiance. Stop club my fiance. She's not with my fiance. Stop clobbering everyone you see. Yikes, please don't glare at us. You don't want to explode. You don't have what it takes. We're looking for a guy named my fiance. Trigger lines. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, I do want to do that. I just forgot how to do that. I'll have to figure that out later. He stole an ancient spell book from the school's library. He gathered his students and came here to try out some of the magic. I want to retrieve the book, but the desert is too large. I don't know what to do. I don't think this is where he is. It's just not right. A scary sorcerer. He's a scary sorcerer. I demand some food. We don't know what to do. Wow, they are an excitable bunch, aren't they? Offer help. We'll find him sooner if we cooperate. I'm Kathinja, professor at the Academy of Magic. Reach for the stars. What am I in two quests at once? We we'll keep track of each other with the students as the messengers. Oh, and watch out, my fiance's students will give you false info. All right, let's go. Does she come with? No, she does not. Okay. Don't leave me. I'm all by myself. Reach for the stars, seven wisdoms. Diddle had it. Okay, so you can do them simultaneously. Simultaneously. The students are definitely goofballs, aren't they? Try to check something there. Alright, then I don't feel bad about being here right now. I do not have to look for only that dude. I can do things at the same time, it looks like. I like this area. This is cool. I usually like desert areas in video games, but I hate the heat in person. This is the best way I can experience a desert, is in video game form. 
Wizard meat. Miss Katinja is over here, so you look over there. He's lying! She didn't go that way! You were the liar! She did come this way to search. You know that's not right. She came this way. Oh dear. Liar, liar, liar! <clears throat> You're on Mr. Mephiance's side, aren't you? You're talking about yourself! Have a taste of this! How about that? That's a pretty fun sound effect, isn't it? Want me to sit here for a little while? I can turn it up. <laughs> Do wop wop and wop. What the fuck? <laughs> Your ass. <ASMR. laughs> oh jeez. Oh, it's fighty time. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? We're gonna try that new sword. Oh, I think my chocobo leveled. Let's check. Uh, Pat. He did, he's level 11. Cool. All right, we want to try out the sword now. We got a free sword, a levitine. We'll give it a shot. We'll give it the old college try. I don't have any special techniques for it, so. You know, let's just try it out. Whoop. See how it goes. If it's poo butts, we'll switch back. Don't take your jelly away. Do I have any instruments? No. I honestly don't even know what they're for. Oh, interesting. Where's that sand coming from? Oh, it's the mad ducks from Secret of Mana. Hell yeah. Ow. Oh, nice. The down thrust. Very cool. Is this strong? I like it. Very strong sword. Spoils. Destiny dice. That sounds like equipment. Let's see what it does. I think it's armor. Yeah, there. It is equipment. Well, let's see. It has eight magic defense. Minus one power. Minus one HP. Minus one magic. Four luck. This is the item you use for grinding. Okay. For grinding equipment. Got it. So it makes you weaker, but you'll probably get more rare drops. That's kind of cool. I always like luck equipment in games. Well, how much luck do I have? Five. I only have five luck. Wow. You really don't get a lot of luck in this game. Eight magic defense isn't bad either. That's true. How does it compare to that? Oh, I would lower my defense a lot. I don't want to get rid of my precious. Sharing experience has been way too useful. All right. Doesn't re there really isn't any room for it on my loadout right now. It doesn't really fit. This game has really good music. This area is no exception. Animal 
clone. All right. I am very lost. National Special Technique. I, I don't know how to say that. It's literally a word that's three vowels. <laughs> I, I strike? I don't know. That word is three vowels. Unless that's an L, and then it's like lay strike. <laughs> it just kept getting worse. Oh no. Well, I got one of them with it. That was kind of neat. Cutting bamboo. All right. J strike weird sick beat it was pretty good wasn't it mr. is games ASMR Luker. Luker. Go for the eyes, boo! Nice. Good old Baldur's Gate, too. Man, what a legend. Minsk. Minsk is. Craziest, weirdest ranger. And his animal companion was a hamster. <laughs> you get rust. Lovely. Thank you. You can't go through here. Turn around and go back. Go. You're gonna regret it, youngin. Behold and witness the great powers of the Twin Towers. Take this and this and that and that. Okay. Oh, that, that really hurt. Hey, you guys, did you take care of Miss Cathinja's past pets? Yes, sir. We made them go this way. That's the right way, you dimwits. Ah, well, next time you can stop them, anyway, you can. <laughs> yes, sir. Wow, they are dinguses, aren't they? Uh, you dinguses. Let's try our new ability here. Cutting bamboo. Well, that was cool. A little jump slash. A little reminiscent of Secret of Mana. Maelstrom. Oh, I'm getting a lot of abilities now. Hits all nearby foes for minor damage. I do like having AoE power. Comes in handy. Up slash. I wonder how I did that. Rising sun and a soldier's helm. Whoa, we're getting loot here. Short range, medium damage. I apparently had it for the axe too. 
Oh, I see. Rising Sun unlocked for both. I understand. All right, what's this helmet I got? Soldier's helm. Uh, it's not very good. Too bad. Unless it has a hidden uh, stat. Animal hide helm? Yeah, that's not very good. It has defense against darkness, though. That's kind of cool. No mystic powers. Plus three skills, plus four hit points. So there's more than meets the eye to that thing. First work come easy, the rest unlock with circumstances. Gotcha. Who doesn't like a little AoE, right? This route is closed. Take another road. Turn back already. Going through. You're gonna force yourself through here, huh? You're in trouble now. Let's get him. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Can I go that way? They did nothing to me. <laughs> All right. Good fight. Good try. Pat yourselves on the back. Hey, wait for me. Okay. Ooh, I made it. A found sorcery equals two sorcerer's magic. You better check your equipment before you go. You want to come with? Are you ready? Ready. Let's go. Let's do it. What was the conga line? My fiance. My fiance. You look silly. So it's you, Kathinja. Stop whatever you're doing and return the spell book. Oh, that book. I discarded it. What? Quite a use for a book, I'd say. Memorized everything in it. How about a spell that creates a star? That machinery. You're going to use it to create a star? That's not all. I intend to make the stars move as I wish. No, you're not going to... That's right. I'm going to destroy the earth by making all the stars fall. You can't fall in space. There's no falling. That's not how space works. <laughs> There's no up or down. <laughs> I won't let it happen. Nothing can stop me now. Oh, good. He's gonna make the stars fall, Nazi. What a man dream. I did nothing. Good, good. Oh, that's pretty cool. There's our AOE attack. There we go. AOE time. Nice. Sword's pretty good. Unlock four skills for five. Four. Uh, triple tiger, blade launcher, cutting pine, and bird of prey. <laughs> uh, okay, sure. Hey, you, are you all right? I'm good. I'm good. Wow. That was impressive. He blew me out of the desert. We gotta catch up. All right. No, I want to see what my skills are first. Don't do it, my fiance. And now, the greatest show of all time. No! Oh my god! What's going on? Fireworks? Yeah! <laughs> 
Very good. <laughs> oh, jeez. <clears throat> it's a pretty wicked fireworks launcher you got there. Dots. Dots. Oh, my goodness. Um. Okay, I guess that was pretty cool. Here, take this. Ish Platinum. Okay. <laughs> Reach for the stars, the end. <sighs> Good. <laughs> oh, we reached for those stars, all right. <laughs> it was derpy as all hell. That's why I like it. Harmless, a bit of harmless fun. A bit of harmless fun. <laughs> Uh, did Boko level? Yeah, he's 12. Alright. Put some new food in his box. Alright, we want... Dice berries if we have any. Feed box is empty. Oh, okay. I don't think we got any dice berries. No, we didn't. Mangoes, spring bananas, cornflowers, deal laurels, rhino, cherry. Boar melon? No. Orca plant? No. Sweet Maui? No. Carrot? Cornflower? We have one of those. Okay. I should have checked the tree first. I don't know why I'm doing this. Cabadillo! Cherry bombs. I will destroy the world with shiny beautiful fireworks you do that Frankson. you show the world all the pretty colors and they will tremble in fear at your pyrotechnics is that done it is done low quat shoes all right i don't think this is anything i want Pretty sure it's not. Spiny carrot? No, none of these were things I wanted. Or this pumpkin being mostly bad. Bumpkin. Got any new seeds that are good? Crooked. And flat. Round seed, and we'll do a big seed. Sure. Cool. All right, we go talk to the plant. Read the diary, save. Do some more explorations. Blumpkin. You like that, Red Bull? I like it, too. It's silly. It's very silly. Who's that? Yo, look who it is. Dude who I was channel I was hanging out in before my own. Ace Burado. Fireworks. Nice. Ace Burado. What's up, CZ and peanut butter? How's it going? How was Simulacrum 2? Did you uncover all the mysteries? The fun time mysteries. Oh. Flame of hope. Now where is it? Reach for the stars. 
Sorcerer did a little old magic in the desert. I was watching it too, and it was really cool. I guess the ancient people thought better things back then. Didn't get them all, but you got a lot of them. Nice. You got a fair amount of mysteries. Oh, I didn't realize there were multiple. I thought it was just one story. That's interesting. How's everybody doing today? Any of your new faces out there? I'm Phenomenon, mostly a variety streamer, retro RPG, sprinkles of indie. It's good times over here. I hope you like it. They pulled a 999 on you? Of course. Of course. Why wouldn't they? That's good, though. That means that's got replay value. Are you going to revisit it? What the hell? Whoa, what is this? Something's happening in Lumina. What the hell? That was weird. Let's go find out. You sucker for that kind of gameplay? Yeah, that is right up your alley. Because I know how big you were on 999. And even Danganronpa. Ace Detective Crunch Rap Supreme. Oh. This game was too complicated when you were a kid. It's still complicated. <laughs> Yo, Barbie, what's good, man? Dub. All right, there was ghosts here. What the heck did that mean? Let's find out. Let's find out what I, there was ghosts here. Detective Crunch. Not seeing anything different. We will figure this out. You should change your branding to Ace Detective. Is it available? I would. Personally, I think it'd be hilarious. It's it is how you play games. Like literally. You like the Chalcobo peanut? Apparently it's an Easter egg. If you have a save file from Final Fantasy VIII on your memory card, you can get a chocobo in this game. How weird. It's just a total Easter egg. And he fights with you, too. So I'm just taking him everywhere. It's a pretty neat little Easter egg. Oh, Diddle, why does he do this to me all the time? I know, I know. I'll go look for him. Ah, continuation of this quest. Grinding your main speed game up for the upcoming relay. What relay? Give me a break. Don't tell me you ran away again. No, sorry. Running away isn't a thing I do. <laughs> uh. Yeah, Boko is our bunny. Boko is our bunny. We've been feeding him good foods too. Which changes his stat growths. Nice little effect. Alright, so I'm officially very confused. A bunch of ghosts all flew to this town, and literally nothing here is different. I feel like I was debated. I feel like I was debated. The game has debated me. It's always good, though, to come here, because I like the music. The wind tells you of the weather and seasons. Yes, yes, it does. All right, let's talk to all the dub bears, every one of them. Dub! Dub, dub. Everything going? Everything is going. I don't know, nothing else is different here. Oh. oh, this is different. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Dino! They took him! Dino! They took a dinner! The ceiling goes took him! 
Eggs is always ace for bringing support over here, man. I appreciate it. Appreciate it very much. Always good to have you. Always good to have you and the and the ace babies. The ace the the ace burritos. The ace burritos. Uh I guess I have to go to the underworld again. That's the only thing that checks out at this point. Underworld it is. The crunch wrap supremes. Oh my god, you're making me hungry, Bactar. Bactar, what are you doing to me? <laughs> you're making me hungry! The Ace of Dios. <laughs> I like that better. The Ace of Dios. That's way better. Dill! Capella, I can't go on. I've had it. Wait a minute. What do you mean you've had it? He's had it with life, pal. He's with us now. Come back, Diddle. <laughs> Let's take you to the underworld. Oh, no. Still here? Go straight to the bottom. No, don't. Oh, well, I don't have a teammate. It's extra ordinary and making me so hungry. No lie. <laughs> Welcome to the underworld. I say the dead come here, but it's meant for souls who still cling to life. As long as you are able to feel happiness and sorrow, you must avoid the shadows. The shadows will try to drag you to the bottom. All right. You want to come with? I may return above. I could save. Okay, if I can return above, we're gonna go get a teammate. Let's go get, um, let's go get, what's his name? I, I, I legitimately forgot his name. <laughs> we'll find out. The little kid. Bud, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that little kid. That dude. Uh, we're going to take him with. Let's go, bud. Let's see if we can find you a wisdom. boo boo boo, -boo. Mm hmm Hey, bud. Hey there, bud. We're going to the uh, that there uh, underworld there. Oh, you know what I didn't do yet? He's definitely not Bart. Who's Bart? This guy's here now. I didn't look at all these new abilities. I got a ton of them. Triple Tiger, Blade Launcher, Cutting Pine, Bird of Prey, Frontal Area Attack, Cutting Pine, Mid-Range Major Damage. Oh, you're speaking my language right there. What's up? Search for the dragons? Maybe later. Fine. <laughs> He's like, fine, God. Can I, can I go? Good. All right. Ah, uh, put me on the first level. Shit. Want to leave? No. I want to go back to the bottom. Crap. You sent me to the bottom? You? We're shadows. I guess I have to do it the old-fashioned way. Mm 
I have to find the onion guy. Oh shit. Alright. Things are pretty easy. Dead end. Ah, oh, come on! Did it say I failed the quest? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. Apparently, yes. Wow. Apparently, I failed the quest for some reason. That's fucking dumb. Why did I fail? <laughs> You totally know shit about this game. Quit trying to pretend. Okay, we'll reload. You read diary as dairy? Oh, what kind of dairy? You like cheese? Cheese kind of dairy? Maybe, um, mostly cheese. I'll go with cheese. Now I want mozzarella cheese or ice cream. Ooh, I like ice cream, but ice cream does not like me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Peanut? Ice cream and myself have a complicated relationship. If we were on Facebook and it was connected to ice cream, it would just say it's complicated. You have cheese sticks? I like those too. I like the ones that have like the Kobe Jack cheese sticks, you know, like they have like different kinds of cheeses mixed in. Oh, those are tasty. I love ice cream too. I do. I am basic when it comes to ice cream. My favorite is vanilla, but I also really enjoy chocolate chip mint ice cream. That's pretty good too. That's good stuff. Now I want ice cream. Much to my detriment. To my own detriment. That's really like dolce de leche. That's pretty good too. I like that one. Salted caramel. Oh yeah, I've had that too. That's really good. Salted caramel chocolate. Okay. So really, all we lost was the little running around in Lumina, which. Isn't really going to change much. Dark cherry. I've had that too. That's pretty good. Man, a lot of good ice creams. Okay, the little ghost thing's happening again. Ooh. <laughs> Wub, 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 wub. Rabble, 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 rabble. Exact Don Spooky. Nice timing. <laughs> nice timing. <laughs> Your mom got you shaved dark chocolate to make hot chocolate with? <gasps> that sounds primo. All I have is the powdered hot chocolate mix, but I wouldn't be opposed to having some of that after stream. You have to answer the boo call. I respect that. I can respect that. She works at a cooking store, so when stuff goes on clearance, she gets it like 90% off. That sounds like the way to go, really. I don't think I've ever had hot chocolate like that with real shaved chocolate in it. I've only ever had the, the mixed kind. All right, me and Boko are going to go conquer the underworld. We'll do it ourselves. $12 can of shaved chocolate costs under two bucks. That's a hell of a deal.
heat milk and melt the shaved chocolate in it. Fuck. <laughs> it sounds so good. Oh my god. It sounds so good. All right, we're going to read our dairy diary. Make sure it doesn't fail. This game is a banging soundtrack. I'm still very surprised that I n not. Well, I know why I missed this game when it came out. I wasn't really, I didn't really get good new games for a while when this came out. A couple years there, I just missed out on tons of games. A lot of those games are actually on that uh, RPG watch, li watch list or the retro watch list. May return. Stay. I can save. We will save. Rotate those saves. <laughs> All right, we're going to read the dairy. It is now the dairy that's canon, thanks to Peanut Butter Princess. Forever. Forever. From now on, it is the dairy. This thing won't talk. Holy crap. So he said avoid those things. So I'm just going to try not touching them. I always wanted a dairy to write your dies in. Oh, jeez. Well, this, this is what a... Not a stealth mission, but a... We're playing tag, basically, I think is what we're doing. What the heck are you? Aren't you a fancy old fella? Wow, I kicked his ass. Okay. Alright, one of these days I'll figure out how I'm doing that, like, up swipe. There, I just did it again. You see that? Oh. I just don't know how I'm doing that. Demon meat. That's new. I've never seen that. Bam. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Okay, I get it. I understand. This is making more sense. He turned invisible. That was tricky. People will get you funny when you write in your dairy. That's what it is. It's a dairy. Peanut Butter Princess brand cannon. You gotta love it. I'm gonna check something. I'm looking at the instruction manual because I want to see if it says anything about those attacks. <laughs> it might actually. Wow. Holy crap. There's a lot of buttons, <laughs> button prompts in this thing. Holy shit. Look at that. All right. Um.
Creating a new world, playing the game, land creation, nope. Menu screen. I'm looking for combat, specifically. Battle system. Quick attack, which is X. Power attack, which is square. Various actions, defending, jumping, special techniques. Doesn't say, it might just be RNG, magic power. Wow, I should buy some instruments, huh? Looks like you can get spells with them. Interesting. Change abilities frequently. All right, that's some interesting information there. We will invest in an instrument at our earliest opportunity. Ballpoint puns write poorly in a glass of milk. Some real wisdom right there. I think this was the room I got I got dinged in. Oh wow. Woo. I don't like this room at all. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, I don't like this room. All right, we got through it. Whew. This is a memory room? Ha! I win. Come on, Diddle, let's go back to the sunny surface. No. Nothing is fun out there anyway. You're having fun and people have fun watching you. But I don't. You're sounding like a good shadow to be. I'm not always smiling because I'm having fun. Then why do you always have a smile on your face? That's, that's for me to decide. What the hell does that mean? You just say things without thinking about anything. You got that one wrong, Diddle. Oh, stop. Why are you smiling again? Well, it's kind of funny. Nothing's funny. There's nothing good about life. Wow, this is sad. You get hurt, have fights, and there are too many goodbyes. Jeez. Watching your shows doesn't make anything better. Liar. I don't like it when people laugh while you juggle. What a Debbie Downer. Good God. I don't like it when people are having fun. That's what he's saying. Hopefully he snaps out of it. That is a sad state of affairs. What's the difference between the visage of a nearby star and a besworn warrior? Thanks, Suki. I try. It's fun. I like to do it. Um, what does besworn mean? I actually don't know what that means. <laughs> I think that's key to this riddle. I know. I understand it all, Diddle. It means they have an oath. Resworn means they have an oath. It's between a vision of a nearby star and a warrior under an oath. Um...
pledge to. I have no idea. I'm trying to find a connection there and I don't see it. It's an interesting riddle. This world is full of boring and nasty things, but I still like living in this world. Come back up when I make the world a better place. So take care until then. I'll be watching for it, waiting for you up there. It's the difference between day and night. <sighs> Feels bad. You can't go back once we've taken you in. You'll become a shadow and never return to human form. Capella, I won't turn into a shadow. I will remain myself, so don't worry about me. Did you hear that? He's not gonna turn into a shadow. Yeah, right. Are we ever gonna have fun with him? Oh dear. Come on, Diddle. I won't look down on you. Even if you come after me now, I'll welcome you. Hey, Diddle. I'll let you know something. All you need to do is run. You make it up there, then you're free from us. If you don't make it, then the monster's gonna gobble you up. Monster? OMG! Oh! Excessive vibration on the controller! Of course, no one has ever made it alive. I have, like, twice. Oh. Well. The knockback is real. <laughs> oh, you jerk! How dare you! Let's try Rising Sun. That was pretty good. Ow. Good job. I just totally whiffed on that. Feels bad. I wrecked that guy. That was pretty easy. Not like that one fight we had last stream with this. That was a really hard fight. Macabre Doomstone. Oh, look. Capella. Hey, welcome back. Diddle almost went back to get you. He should have trusted you like I do. <laughs> hey, Capella, let's stay and watch the stars just a little longer. Okay, but just a little longer. How come? Because I have to break the promise that I wouldn't smile because I'm so happy. It's okay, you can smile. Stars spin as they fall when you're trying to catch your breath. Boy, he changed his tune real fast. What's that supposed to mean? It's a secret. You are one strange guy. Yeah, he is. They're both strange. Diddle had it. Did I finish the other character? I'm not sure what you mean. This is my first playthrough, so total blind playthrough. Enjoying the sights and the sounds all right let's go hit up the uh journal make sure it's written in there we'll check uh fruits as well for our chocobo we'll do the fruits first we got to do the journal after i can't forget that mm -hmm. The sights and sounds are both solid AF. Very funny. What's that? Boar melon. Mm, that's not one of the ones I wanted. What's that? 
Squalfin. <laughs> and we have two seeds that have not finished growing yet. Brown seed. Oblong seed. You can choose character. Oh, right, right. No, this is my first playthrough. First ever playthrough. Let's do small seed and big seed. See what happens. Yeah, I forgot you could pick a male or female in the beginning. I raffled off the rights in the beginning. We like to do that with RPGs where we do a giveaway and the winner gets to pick the character that I play and name them. So the winner um, chose the boy and picked the name. I don't think it changes anything about the story. It's not like um, Seiken Densetsu 3, where who you start with changes the story. Feed box is empty. Uh oh. Do I have any of the items I want? I don't think I do. No. I don't have any. I can feed him meat? Interesting. I wonder what that does. I don't think a chocobo is going to like meat very much, though. <laughs> Super minor dialogue differences between boy and girl, and that's it. Yeah, Suki, you might have been thinking of um, Seiken Densetsu 3 or Trials of Mana, which is a uh, Switch game at this point. This is a PS2 game from 2000. PS1 game, I'm sorry. PS1 game from 2000. I wonder if the encyclopedia says anything about meat. Let's check it. So we have monsters, produce, techniques. Oh, this is the beast cherry. Okay. Meat. Used along with produce to catch monster eggs. Okay. to feed him because I don't have anything I want to feed him really I guess we'll look at the encyclopedias again see of the produce I have what might be beneficial we'll check conk kernip power defense aggression arrogance that might work we'll add that one Conk. Conk Carnip. Defense, magic, luck, laziness, minus skill. No. Power, defense, charm, arrogance, minus pair. We could do pair. Power, HP, aggression, arrogance. Mango. I have that on there already. Apricot. Defense and calmness. Power and aggression. Dice berry. I really want that. Peach puppy. Power, skill, friendliness, skill. Mine is scheming. Peach. We can add peach to that. Skill, charm, calmness, and decisiveness. No. Magic, HP, charm, minus defense and aggression. No. No. Skill, charm, scheming, laziness. No. Power, spirit, aggression, arrogance, scheming, and laziness. No. <laughs> no. Uh. 
That lowers power? No. 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 Spring Nana is good. Corn flour is good. No. No. Cabadillo. Defense, spirit, friendliness, loneliness. No. Magic luck, friendliness. Fred, Fredliness. I forgot. Rackadaculus wanted to call it Fredliness. <laughs> Power skills, spirit, loneliness. Boar. We'll add that. We'll add boar. Dia Laurel. I have that on there already. Heart mint. Charm, laziness. Spirit, loneliness. Basil works. Mint works. Pine O'Clock. I don't have that. That's pretty nice, though. Not for me. Rhinolope. Yeah, I want that. Cherry bombs are good. Orchid plant, no. Mass potato, no. All right, we have some new ideas here. Flintstone-liness? Wow. Choose an item to feed Boko. Conk. Do I have conk? No. Pear. Pero heels. There we go. Peach, boar, basil, mint. I have peach puppies. I have boar melons. There we go. Alright. This feed box is full. have to talk to the cactus before I forget. I don't think I did that yet. If I did, I forgot that I did it. Shadowly bees. Sure. Whatever that means. What an odd cactus that lives in this house. It writes in a diary. But then again, games like these are very odd. Diddle had it. There it is. <clears throat> What's the difference between people who like doing the same thing every day and ones who don't? I like being a cactus every day, but maybe I'm not supposed to. Did I get that right? It's kind of deep. It's kind of deep. Facts, so we, we're still exploring other areas that we haven't seen yet. We could go to this junkyard now. <clears throat> I want to check that out. I haven't been here yet. This is a new place. Human is here. Who said that? I wonder if he knows that we're not completely asleep. What does that mean? Enough of that. The war is a long past. We should just rest. What's wrong? Stop that whining. Those who die with desire in their hearts will wander the earth forever. Oh, that's sad. <clears throat> you, you're an artificer. Don't you play with our powers? We'll get a revenge someday. Artificer, huh? Me? The Infernal Doll. All right, me and Boko, we're gonna take care of business here. Friends are waiting for you if you follow the path to which the Jack in the Box, the Teddy Bear, the Doll, 
The Jack in the Box and the Rocking Horse will guide you. Okay. Why does he see Jack in the Box twice? That's weird. Someone cried, help, help, but I just ignored him. It was war. That's what I told myself. Oh. All right, hold on. <clears throat> I'm write this down. Jack. Bear. Doll. Jack. Horse. So if I follow that path, I might find something. So here's Jack. Now we're going to look for a bear. A tragedy. Little eye. Okay. Not quite sure what that is. So we have a doll. Is that a bear? No, those are cans. <laughs> those are cans. There's the bear. Long ago, we would fly into the air and battle against the fairies. <clears throat> of course, the enemy was strong, but I didn't think I would lose, so I wonder, why am I here now? I place artifacts and shape the world. Makes me an artificer, maybe. Zordon, how you been today, dude? Hey, look here, not there. Here, the wound. This is what keeps me going. Tragedy! All right, now we look for a doll. Magical meat. Oh, the pain. Winning, losing, and then winning again. All we could do is fight. It hurts! It hurts! There's the doll. I'm getting sleepy. I wonder what I'll be the next time I'm granted life. All right, doll. Now we look for another Jack in the box. Pathway of garbage. Wow. Oh, yeah, combat. I like seeing the familiar enemies from Secret of Mana on this. Cross Strike. I got a blank eye and a true spear. I already had a true spear. Let's see what Cross Strike is. I don't really like Rising Sun. Didn't I have one that's major damage? I guess I didn't equip it. Yeah, Cutting Pine. There we go. Cross strike, where is that? Short range, medium damage. Okay. I don't like the idea of short range, so I'm just probably gonna ignore that. Enjoying the tunes. The broadcast cyborg. Alright, here's the doll. We're looking for a jack in the box. There's a tree stump. There's one. Such a coward in the war. I always ran away and everyone laughed at me. Don't come any closer. Cause if you start talking to me, you'll get laughed at too. I'm staying. Wicked eye. Stay here. <clears throat> Pathway of garbage. Oh, come on. How do we get that? We have treasure. Interesting. Hmm. We'll figure it out. We're going to make sure we get that treasure. Or we're going to get blocked by a log that we can't move. Hmm. Horse is next. There's a horse. Pokeel. Pokeel. Why do I know that name? Hmm. I can't get that chest. There doesn't seem to be any way through here. I need some way to bypass those logs. That seems to be the key. All right, well, I'll follow the path for now. Maybe I'll um, find it later. Oh, good fighting. Cutting pine. Let's see how this does. Good. That's an air attack. That's that's going to be really hard to use properly. Uh, 
Um, all right, I'm gonna change these. Maybe we'll find something else. Feels like I have most of these abilities. Cause nothing's really giving me new stuff. Or a Counter Strike being really good. I'll use that. All right, so we just did horse, did we? I think. Yeah, that's it. That should be all of them. And the music's changing. Heap of junk. Now fight! Oh boy. They're animating things. Ah! <laughs> The horse heads, I remember them. They were a pain in the butt in Secret of Mana. They always had like crazy high evasion. Oh, did I just kill them all? I guess so. All right. Hollywood and Baobab Wood. As fuck Tome of Magic. As fuck Moon's Mirror. Nice. Louis' room. My Omar. Oh my. Uncle. The toys believe that to die is to be saved. Some things ended up for the best. Oh. Okay. That was pretty quick. The Infernal Doll. <whistles> treasures. There were treasures there, I know. I'll have to go back. I have to go back. I feel like I should probably fill those corners. Maybe. Maybe. There. Hello, cactus. Talk to him. I'm talking here. We're talking here. Junkie. Yeah, that's true. It was junkie. Dun, 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 dun. I'm gonna ignore those corners. I'm gonna take the gamble. Let's see. Fernal doll. Junk at the junkyard really wasn't junk. They were the leftovers of the artifacts used in wars long ago. Wow, that makes me like them a little. Only a little bit. Only a little bit. Cactus juice. Oh, uh, Cyril. He's addicted to cactus juice. We have to save him. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, let's go, bud. First, we're going to check our seeds. Quenchiest. I wonder what cactus juice tastes like. Isn't that how they make uh, tequila? It's like agave nectar from cactuses? Spade basil. You gonna link me something? Citrus squid. Is that the one I needed? No. Basil I can use. Cabadilla. Do 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 cabadillo, whatever. That's not one of the ones I wanted. Lily pods. That is also not one of the ones I wanted.
go in the box. Pine o'clock. I think that's one of the ones I did not want. What is that, Mr. What you got, brother? Mush in a box. I don't know what that does. Only drink tequila if it's made from 100% blue agave. Avatar. I've never seen Avatar. An odd but large seed grew on me this time. Whoa, he gave me an artifact. Golden seed. Cannot seem to take care of the seed. It must be something special. Long seed. All right. He gave me an artifact. That was unexpected. I guess I have chosen wisely. Flat seed. Round seed. Contradictory seeds. What is this? There's water trapped inside these. I don't know. Suit yourself. It's very thirst quenching, though. He's tripping balls. Yeah, he's tripping balls. Wow. <laughs> Dude's tripping balls, Mr. Cyril. Right, let's check a food. I think I leveled my chocobo once. Where's feed? There it is. Oh. He didn't eat. He refused to eat. He's on a hunger strike until he levels up. Do 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 Tripping balls. I had some of this stuff, this tea before stream. Temps de sucre, which is like a smoky kind of flavor to it. It's actually really good. I also pay very little attention to these numbers down here because I have no control over them. I just put it in a little tea ball and leave it in there until I'm done drinking it. It's probably the wrong way to do it, but it's delicious. I like it a lot. Bum, bum, bum. Bloop, 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 bloop. Let's go back to the junkyard. There was Treasy. We saw Treasy there. 50 grams is the amount in the tea the bag contains. But it has temperatures and durations on there. And then French words that I don't know. Hello, who's this? Psychedelic teleport service! All I charge is love. Sure. Bombs Lab. Well, these are the guys with the Cannon Brothers. I'm Professor Bomb. The junk lying around here is all artifact creatures. They fought out in a war a long time ago. Once I made a golem out of this trash, but you know what? They ran away! I think of all the bad things he must be doing out there. It makes me cry. I, I guess I'm a little naive sometimes. I named it Pavlov, you see. If you could find him somehow, I'd be so happy. I'll find him. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Professor Bombs Lab. I heard there's a fortune teller dummy now. Maybe it would help to get your fortune told. Will do. I can do that. Oh, I thought I could go in there and then get shot in a cannon. It would be like... It would make that noise. Sammy. Sammy, hi. Sammy, hi. How are you, Sammy? Sammy, hello. How is Sammy? Hi. <laughs> I don't know where I went with that. Just, just, just being a little strange. Let's check the directions we didn't travel. Littered Ridge. There's a lot of places to go. You just woke up. Good luck with that. Thanks. I will find as many treasuries as I can. 
Thanks for the luck. He's not even streaming right now. Maybe later. We got a trenchy. Whoa. Oh, I forgot to buy an instrument. That's one thing I wanted to do. <laughs> Bud is kicking some ass here. Look at what it is. is, what is a it's our old friend got a static. Dude, 30 months. You've been subbing here two and a half years. That's wild. That is wild. Thank you. Here. Have a have a visit from your old buddy. Your old cuddle buddy. It's your old cuddle buddy Tom Barry here. Two and a half years of stabs. And terrifying cuddles. I like the music here. It's kind of uplifting. That's more than six months. The game you always wanted to play, but kept procrastinating. I always wanted to play it, but I never got the chance to until now because it was gifted by some seriously generous gifties. Tragedy, tragedy, master, master special technique, tiger claw, destiny dice. Oh, that's that luck art, uh, luck accessory. All right, cutting pine, not very good. It's an air attack. Short range, medium damage. I might as well try these, huh? Yeah, I'm really liking this game. Mr. Mark. Having a lot of fun with it. I recommend you try it someday. Maybe you'll like it too. Oh, that's Bomb's Lab. Okay. What you been up to? What you been playing? Anything? At any time to play anything? Bloop. Uh, Tiger Claw. Whoa, that was cool. I like that one. Wow, that was good. Holy crap. That was pretty good. And Boko leveled. His attack's getting better. He's at 17 power 18 tech 27 hit points is that good it's 27 hit points good i don't actually know it's more than i have that's yeah, good he's kind of tanky i'm trying to get my hands on some games from that gen 2 static if you got a beat on any of these games on my watch list let me know Trying to get a bunch of RPGs together that I've never owned and played this year for the Strimish Stram. Oh, we finally got that treasure. Stinky breath. Ew, what the hell? Who puts that in a treasure chest? Like somebody farted in a box and sealed it up right away. That's, the, that's effectively what I just opened. It was a box of farts. I don't really want a box of farts. I'm not going to lie. That's not the most impressive thing. Really not a fan of box of farts. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Tales of Symphonia. I've never played it. I have it on PS3. It's still sealed, actually. I still have a sealed copy of it on PS3. A box of mouth farts. Yeah. Yeah. Counter! There you go. Okay. 
counter is cool. It's just hard to use. Return to center. Sender. Return to center. I don't know what that means. Let's just say I invented that. Acropolis of trash. Stay here. Uh, I think I was supposed to go this way. Oh, Monty. Just can't do it, man. Just can't do it, buddy. Wonderful. I'm looking for the end of the zone where there was Treshy. The last one was horse, so I think it's over here actually. Let's try this way. Yeah, alright. Wad of wool. Okay. Electricity. Did I just get killed by electrocution from a treasure chest? How awkward is that? Yeah, uh, I'm sorry. I missed your question, Mark. It came, it's called Tales of Symphonia Chronicles and it came with one and two. Hope the slain dolls are returned as humans. Okay. I just picked up regular old electricity, just, just in a box. Conducting freely. What about Ephemeral Fantasia? I don't want to play that. Not interested. I don't really want to play an RPG I'm going to hate on stream. I just I don't think it would be, I don't think I'd be very happy or entertaining. Yo, what's up, Yorm? How's it going, dude? Oh, that's really good. I like Tiger Claw. Demon meat. <laughs> Zero conveyance the game. Yeah. <laughs> you have it, but it's kind of impossible to play. I watched somebody stream it, and... His very informed opinion that he it was literally the worst game he's ever played in his life. <laughs> Cause there's games out there where they didn't really try and it shows. And that game, his reasoning was that game they actually did try. And they still failed so miserably bad. <laughs> and I was like, I can't really argue with that logic. Uh. Buddy Cthulhu. What up, dude? Nice. All right. Get wrecked, duck. He wouldn't call it the worst game. It was definitely the worst game he'd ever played. In his opinion. And... He's played a lot of games. He really likes RPGs like myself. It's the derpiest chocobo. He's not the thick chocobo I require. <laughs> yeah, he's a little, little, little on skinny side. We, we, you know, we're trying to fatten him up a little bit. All right, there really wasn't anything here except treasure, but... Oh, and a quest. We have to find a quest, right? You're free now. Oh my God, Shane. You you heard my soul just imagining having to break all these wonderful pieces of machinery. All right. Yeah, I, I have a watch list that I am trying to keep an eye on of games on there. Games that I would like to stream someday. They're all games I've never owned. And I think I've only played like four of them. We're definitely working on improving that.
collection. What do we have? Golden Seed, Moon's Mirror, Tome of Magic. Hmm. Tough call. We'll go back here and save, and then we'll use more artifacts. Yeah, I see what you're saying, Mark. I understand. I could not play them. You you are correct. Do you have a good number of them on PS1? I am definitely looking to get some of them. <clears throat> Alright, so I didn't complete a quest. I'm just coming here to save. I'll we'll place some more artifacts down. Whoa. Where's my cactus? He's gone. That's not good. My cactus is gone. Panic save. You never got Tales of Destiny to what you're upset about. You would get it if you ever see it. You got Xenogears last year? Xenogears, man. You hung out when I streamed that, right? That was a good time. We could do some crazy sandboxy things with this game. It's fun. I'm really liking it so far, GOG. Really liking it so far. Having a good time with it. I don't know anything about Azure Dreams. I'm not sure what that is. Look, my cactus is gone. Where did he go? We need to find my cactus. Grand J2 is on Dreamcast. I, I'm pro I'll probably try to get a, a Dreamcast someday, honestly. My broom. What? Oh, this is different. Wah! It's gone! My broom's gone! Daddy's broom. What? You think I'd like Azure Dreams? Definitely something I want to get my hands on. Granja 2 is very good. Was that Threads of Fate? Yeah, that's on the list too. There's a lot of games that I've just never played. Most of these I haven't even seen. Like, not these are games that I not only haven't played, I haven't seen. Alundra, Ark the Lad, Azure Dreams. I've seen 10 minutes of Granja. Jade Cocoon, I don't know what that is. Legend of Lagaya, I think I've seen a little bit of that. Lunar Eternal Blue, I've never seen. Um... Mega Man Legends 1 and 2, I've never played those. I've seen them briefly. Rhapsody, I've never seen. Saga Frontier, I've played. Saga Frontier, I've never... Frontier 2, I've never seen. Suikoden 1, I've never seen. Suikoden 2, I've seen a little bit of. Tales of Destiny, never seen it. Tales of Destiny 2, never seen it. Threads of Fate, never seen it. Vagrant Story, I've seen a little bit of it. I've played a little bit of it. I've, it looks really cool. Wild Arms 1 looks really good. Wild Arms 2, I've never seen it. Like just Most of these games in here, not played, not owned, not seen. So there's a lot of blind gameplay potential on that list. Cactus is always missing for you when you have a quest to turn into. You always fail to complete the diary, diary in one play. Oh. Wow. Wow, Static. You got a big collection then, huh? You like to hold on to all your games? Yeah, I understand. I totally understand. So do I. I mean, I'm the same way. <laughs> God, I bet you... I bet you just washed it. Wait a sec. How could I lose a big room like that? Come on, Weezer. That room is a memento of Dad. It's Cactus. You have Lunar 1 and 2. I have one. I have the com I have it complete. Silver Star Story complete. I want to get Lunar 2. Absolutely. If I play Alundra, it's going to kick my ass next Sunday. It's all right. 
I don't shy away from challenges. Da -da -da. Skies of Arcadia is also good. What system was that on? It's not on my list. Oh, that's a GameCube or Dreamcast, isn't it? Dreamcast, yeah, that's why. I don't have a Dreamcast yet. I don't have a Genesis yet, but I'll be getting one hopefully next month. Hopefully next month. Hopefully I'll have the budget to get a Genesis next month. They're not that expensive and they output native RGB. Literally the RGB cable is going to cost more than the Genesis. <sighs> if I can ever get my hands on it, they're always out of stock. I checked again today and they're not out of stock until like March 10th. I'm like, come on, <laughs> cut it out. Uh. PS2 you started to not really play as many RPGs. Yeah, I missed a hell of a lot of games during like f a five year plus gap or so. A cactus walks. I can't catch spells anymore. Ah, oh, well, that wasn't a good magician anyway. All right, let's talk to the cactus. Saw Suikoden and suggest most of those titles. They have various different sound chips. So I've heard. Yeah, I'll have to ask Turnip about that. He's the guy I'm going to be buying them from. He sold me the Saturn that I have now. That's why Sega Saturn is on that list. Because I own one. And then it's ready to go. When I beat this game, we're going to do Lunar Silver Star Story. And then we're going to probably do a Saturn game. Threw away old broom. Junkyard. Okay. I guess we're going back to the junkyard. So we get in four was awful, Reg. What? Why? <laughs> it was so bad. I love Lunar One. I've played it, but I've never played um, Eternal Blue. But I haven't played Lunar One since it came out on PS One in two thousand. Have I heard of Satiator? I've heard that word before, but I don't remember what it is. I don't really know what that is. The first Genesis is the one that has the best sound. Interesting. Fantasy Star. Okay, so I've heard that only Fantasy Star 4 is good and 2 is okay and the 1 and 3 are terrible. Is that true? Do people know that? Leecha went away. She heard about the cactus. We gotta follow her. Come on. Let's do it. Alright. Junkyard, right? Grand Stream Saga. What's that? I definitely... You're right. I... I've never heard of it. <laughs> What's Grand Stream Saga? Space oriented RPG. Interesting. When you played was two on Steam and you were in your three hours of nostalgia. The same director as Soul Blayers or Quintet? Okay, I'm adding that. If it's a Quintet game, I'm adding that. They made fucking awesome games. They made Soul Blazer, Illusion of Gaia, and Terra Enigma. Those are all awesome games. Every one of them. Satiator is a plug on Adam for Center. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, I have heard of that, Nori. It's uh, it's currently in development. I knew I recognized that name. Yeah, I, it's something I wouldn't mind getting my hands on, honestly. Though I think my system has a new laser in it. I think the guy that sold it to me put a new laser in it, but I'm not 100% on that. You don't think Genesis or Sega in general had good RPGs on it? The Saturn definitely did. Um, you had Grand Stream Saga, Sammy? What was it like? It's not Quintet. It's the same director, different company. Oh, okay. I understand. Sorry. 
Swigging and Tactics has a strange mix between people loving it and disliking it. I remember seeing that in a rental store, in, like in college. And I was tempted to rent it because I really like tactical games, but I never did. So I've never seen it. We're trying to find the, the broom. Riviera for the GBA. I've also never heard of that. All right. I added Grandstream Saga to the list then. I, I just never heard of it. So we'll, we'll put that one on the list. Keep forgetting to buy a damn instrument. Oh well. I'll eventually remember. <laughs> eventually. Speaking of GBA and Game Boy, we're doing our first virtual roulette in a, in a long time on Thursday for Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and GBA games. That's going to be a lot of fun. I am r really looking forward to that. Let's go talk to the dude. Um, I forgot his name. Need to find three hours of really, really bad games before Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> Louie, there we go. I mean, she does not think well of humans. That was not the voice I used. But the most important thing is love. The biggest difference between the living and the old living is one is love and one does not. Okay. This is not where the broom is. At least not in this room. Am I doing ROM hacks if they're provided ahead of time? Um, yeah. I suppose so. Yeah, I, think, I guess. I, I wasn't really thinking about it because there's three game libraries effectively and they're huge. But yeah. Yeah, we can do that. If they're provided ahead of time, that is. So long as it's not like, you know, something that's enabling cheats or whatever. Played a laundry thousand arms or wild arms or azure dreams or saga frontier be wanted them back in the day i played vagrant story for an hour and i liked it legitimately oh hold on megalith with the raid hello welcome on in everybody thank you for that support you don't know who i am phenomenon retro streamer rpg streamer little sprinkles of indie and we also stream Dungeons and Dragons every Saturday. Definitely got variety content, but it's far more focused on RPGs this year than it ever was. How was your stream? Megalith. And welcome back, of course. I'm doing good. I'm doing well, I should say. Well. What were you playing? Let's see what you're playing. Temtem. Oh, that, um, that monster catching game. I've heard good things about that. Mm -hmm. You found out that Temtem is awesome. I've, I've not heard anyone tell me they dislike that game after playing it. It just seems like that kind of game that hooks you. If I play those games, you'll absolutely watch them. But then again, you watch the stuff I, you watch the stuff I play that you don't like anyway. Well, thank you. Let's 
talk to the bomb guy. Yeah, like, Vagrant Story. And just to catch you guys up, we are talking about games, RPGs, retro games, mostly, that we've never played before. Vagrant Story and Legend of Mana are the two games that got me started on this list. There were two games I really wanted to play, and so I was like, one day I just started asking people, like, hey, can you guys help me come up with a bunch of RPGs and stuff that, you know, are on, that you really liked, like, more obscure ones that I haven't played. And we came up with that list, and it's a pretty substantial list at this point. I mean, we just added one game tonight. I am not having any luck finding this broom. I said it was in the junkyard. I hope I didn't go the wrong way. Oh, here we go. I should have been talking to the toys. I saw a weird creature carrying a broom bigger than itself. It was green and had lots of thorns. Talking about pain, which is sad. Saw a cactus wielding a heavy broom and saying strange words. It sounded like Lisa Lisa. Lisa Lisa. This way? Temtem is super new, yeah. It just came out like what a couple months ago? see it orbiting blades Ooh, what is that is that an aoe frontal area attack okay so we have a couple of those bird of prey and orbiting blades i'll try that on r2 Super polished for being early access. Yeah, it's... I've heard that about that game. And it's definitely enticing. We're not on display. We went through so much together. Which way do I go? Huh. There's a lot of choices. Let's go this way. I feel like I'm going the wrong way, but I honestly don't know. We'll keep looking around. Dang. Bam! Counter! Really strong. Blank eye. But yeah, as far as that list goes, I've got Granja is on the way. Granja won. Uh, I ordered that from eBay. It was a really good deal. Um, Thousand Arms was, is being sent to me. Shining the Holy Ark might be. And then the rest, we'll just figure it out as time goes on. Wild Arms is on there, yeah. That's a game I've never played. I've only briefly seen it in another stream. So I don't really know much about it. I know I like the music. Supposedly it has a really cool, like, customizable spell system. Or something like that. Something to look forward to. mention the cactus mm. wild 
alarms you never got past the opening fmv how come sammy It was for one of the first RPGs you ever beat, really? Oh, you never got past the FMV because it was so good. Okay. I thought it was like, oh, you were like, eh, I'm not feeling it. I understand now. Whoa, that was really cool. Orbiting blades is good. Getting a lot of demon meat. I'm really not sure what I'm supposed to be doing with demon meat, but yeah. Yeah, I just, I, I like looking at that list because it just seems like there's a lot of potential out there that I still have never been exposed to. <clears throat> and it could be a hell of a lot of fun. It was one you would leave out in the background just to have the song on repeat, much like Civ 4. Was Civ 4 the one that had that, like, Baba Yatu song? Damn. Orbiting Blades is good stuff. Hollywood. What was that? Age of Empires, right? Someone cried, help, help, but I just ignored her. It was war! Saw a thorny thing with a broom deep inside. No, we're not leaving. All right, we'll follow the path where they talk about the cactus. That is why we're here. We're looking for a broom. All right, and went this way. Maybe we have to follow the exact path. He talks about a wound. He talks about pain, which is feels bad, man. Feels bad, man. Cactus. So he's talking about a cactus. So this way. Now, is it up here? Maybe. Ooh, wow. These are bad counters. They're not working. All right, fuck it. Yeah. I'm stuck. I'm getting spanked. Lizard scales. Hmm. I just went back. Yeah, okay, I went the wrong way. Hmm. This is... I feel like this is some kind of puzzle. Cactus. Have you seen a cactus? No. for brooms and cacti. 
That's what I'm trying to do. See, now that I don't, they're not talking about it anymore. So I feel like I missed something. He doesn't talk about a cactus. He says, go away. Stay in here. Walk the season spring to winter. That took me hours as a kid to figure out S several hours. It drove me insane. <laughs> it drove me nuts, Sammy. I didn't know cactuses could move. You learn something new every day. All right, cool. This is promising. What's up here? Oh, music change. Looks like we found the right place. Huh? It's over there. It's your broom. Ah! <laughs> OMG. We ya. What? Watch out. There's something here. Right, we gotta get out of here. I'm scared. All the junk here, like, hates people. I can't run anymore. Uh, ah. Weesha! Did you forget who I am? I'm Bud the Malignant, son of Master Magician Hine. Suddenly Mega Man. I know, right? It does sound like Mega Man. Oh shit, it's broke! But dad was a dropout if they can't be magic. He was so bad, he was only accepted in Domina. We're doomed. Weezer, don't you remember what dad always told us? Uh, he f who fights and runs away, lives to see the light of day? That's it! Cowardice is the better part of valor? Exactly! So... I'd rather live as a coward than die as a hero. That's it? Well, I want to fight something. Come on. No running away. Heroes, there are many, but there is but one father of Bud and Lisa. What? Lisa, what? Lisa, you just stay right there. I'll take care of this. Let's go. It's a little imp. My chocobo just strolls up casually. Those are terrible counterattacks. I guess they don't work on him. Oh no, he shrunk me. <laughs> Get him away! <laughs> uh, uh oh. Oh, this is my miss. Yep. Even though it went like all around me. Oh, jeez. This guy's hard. I should stop trying to counterattack. I think he's almost dead. Ow! Oh, oh, okay. We won. I was just. <laughs> we did it. We did it. We ran it, did it. Thanks, bud. I'm saved. We did it. We did it. We did it. Dun it, dun it.
Chico bow? Nice. Don't worry, I'll fix it. Daddy's broom. The end. All right. All right. Cowardice is the better part of valor. Feels amazing, man. Totally. Boop. I heard a boop. Bow wump. Dun it. Dun it. All right, gonna talk to the cactus who caused all of this trouble for some reason. Bad cactus. Broom, snap, snap. That's all you have to say for yourself, you little. You little scamp! How dare you play with our hearts in this way? You little weed. <laughs> oh no. Daddy's broom, quest 18. Threw away an old broom and that made Bud and Lisa mad. They went and got it back and fixed where it was broken. I guess everything is just hunky dory now. When in danger, when in doubt, run in circles, scream and shout. That sounds like a magic spell. That would be a wonderful magical incantation to do like a fear or confusion effect on someone. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh. I'm good, Lisa. Lisa needs braces. Who the fuck are you? Hi. I just built a shop for making instruments to play magic. Up the stairs on the right. This week's assignment is building an environment to make instruments yourself. So I built a shop. My assignment will be done once I get an elemental coin. Can you help me? All right. Sure. Enchanted Instruments 101. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks. You get elemental coins by playing music to elemental spirits, but they'll only give you one if they like your song. Let's go look for a spirit. Okay. Interesting. I don't have an instrument. Wow, an elemental spirit. I've never seen one here, ever. They never come to places like this where there's so many people. We're so lucky. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> well, he was in my house, basically. My building. Just moved in. Let's try to get a coin. Here, use this instrument. Earth drum. Okay. Try playing a song you like. If the spirit likes it, it'll come over here. If it doesn't like it, when, then it will disappear. Try to pull it closer and talking to it. And if you succeed, you'll get a coin. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Um. Hmm. I'm going to go with a soft song. Power three, Manos, Bronze, Drum, Micah, Crush. Sure. Select part. Oh my god, what is this? <laughs> Actually, the more instruments you use, the better chance the spirit will come closer. Now I have to buy every instrument. Welcome to hell, smile. <laughs> oh no. I know, I, it's not a bad idea, it's on top. Start playing. We, this is our mission right now. Damn it, good. The spirit likes it too. Find the right time to put away your instrument and talk to the spirit. Okay. Now! Talk to it before it disappears. Blah! Wisp silver. Wisp silver. Wisp silver. Whoa. All right. That's how you get a coin. Actually, it's a first for me too. I just did it the way I was taught. 
go to your, you got your coins. Let's go back to the room I made. The room was already there, brother. Oh, damn. Okay, you changed it a little bit. <laughs> it was a cave with a well before. It's a little bit different. Whew. Well, I'm done with my assignment now. Now you can make enchanted instruments. Have fun. Uh, how do you make them? Instruments can be made with primary materials and elemental coins. Make the body of the instrument with a material like Manos bronze and add the coin to make it into an enchanted instrument. Oh boy. <sighs> material coin to use the term as a type of magic. <laughs> Hello, emo. How are you today? This room was in fact not there. You're right. You're right. Coins give magic effects. Magic type is determined by the coin's properties. Check whether the coin is gold or silver. Oh, nothing. Are you confused yet? Yes. Can I have the wisp silvers? Okay, fine. Or a silver. Sala silver. Menos bronze. I'm very glad that we saved before this. Chanted Instruments 101, the end. Well, we're going to talk to the cactus again. I also have artifacts I need to place down. Kitty go go. Kitty go go. It's exciting. More content. It's exciting. Boo -doo -boo -doo -boo 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 -boo. It's right, Regison. It's exactly right. Kitty go go. Instruments finished. No, you're wigging out my chat screen. Cat massage. I am thirsty and having fun. That's how I'm doing. I'm thirsty and I'm having fun. Where's the instruments? Oh, there it is. Now my master can make more instruments in the backyard workshop. Master is really learning how to pick on those monsters. So you can make instruments, but I can just buy them too. I guess I'm that kind of thirsty too, though. If you want to go there. Uh, let's check our seeds. Check our chocobo. And then check the instrument makings. Do, 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 do. So we got some basil. Spade basil. Mm, 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 mm. Heart mint. I'm going to use that too. Another heart mint. And that, whatever that is, is not done. Round. Just one round seed this time. Let's do big and oblong. None of my shops are in high level locations. If only you could rearrange the layout. I would experiment a lot more if you could. But I understand that's part of the replay value of the game. Oh, I see what he did. I understand now. Make an instrument. Encyclopedias. What do we have? Harp, marimba, flute, or drum? What do you guys think? What do you, get th what do you think, chat? You want a harp, a marimba, a flute, or a drum? Throws his harp. Oh, big stretch. Shane's like, marimba. He gave me a drum. That's true. That's true, I already have a drum, don't I? I wasn't sure if he just lent it to me or gave it to me, though. Mm 
All right, since Viseril was the gifty, we'll go harp. Bronze, steel, silver, platinum. Wood. Oh, wow. You can make it out of animal skin, wood, rock, bone. Wow, you can make it out of a lot of materials, huh? See, if this is a harp, we're not going to make it out of wood, I don't think. I don't think. I want it to be metal. Let's make it out of Wendell Silver. Wisp or a Sala. Wisp is light. Or I think is moon. Sala is fire. Gator skin harp. <laughs> Wait, is that... Could I really do... <laughs> yes, do it. Make it a fire harp. Let's do it. Gator skin harp. You, it's the gator harp. <laughs> This one was made in the swamps of Louisiana. <laughs> Flame shackle spear lock. I don't know what any of that means, but all right. Wow. Rename it hot croc. Oh man. All right. Marimba. We'll make this one a silver. We'll have a silver marimba. Wendell Marimba. Wendell. Wendell. I don't know what WNDL means. Wisp. Is that a tarot card? Why am I getting tarot cards? Holy slash fanfire. Okay. Wendell use Wendell silver. Oh. You're right. You're right. All right. A flute. Here we go. Do any of these say skin? No, damn. Rip skin flute. Our hopes were dashed for a skin flute. <laughs> uh, we, have, we have hides, but no skins. <laughs> Sammy's like, I'm out. <laughs> uh, he's leaving. <laughs> Sammy's leaving, guys. <laughs> All right. The bow flute. Do, 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 do. Aura. Okay. Platinum flicker fanfire. Didn't it say fanfire before? All right, we need more coins now. Did we lose the game? We lose the game. <laughs> uh, the bow chicka wow wow flute. Oh man. <laughs> Instrument. Okay. Oh, here's the gator harp. See, they both say fanfire. I don't know what that means. The gator harp is only power 11. Feels bad. The marimba is really strong. Elemental spirit of light, fan shaped area attack. Oh, okay. That's the AoE style. Light AoE, holy slash. Well, that's fucking cool. Mystic powers, wisp. Doesn't say what that does. This is elemental spirit of gold, platinum flicker. Gator harp. Forward circular area lock on. Sphere lock. Alright, what are we naming the gator harp? What are we gonna name it, folks? 
Let's get some suggestions for the Gator Harp meme. Ten characters. Hot Crocs? Oh, God. Oh. Oh, that burns my soul. Like, to the core. <laughs> I think Weewa would permanently leave the community if we did that. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's do that. <laughs> Just don't tell her. Don't tell Weewa. Oh my god. Don't tell Weewa. She has a very rational, not irrational, a rational hatred of cro Crocs. Alright, what are we calling our silver marimba? I don't even know. What are we calling it? I like how the original names are longer than the characters you can actually put in. That's kind of weird. Dun, dun. The harp from DQ? Eh? I don't remember what that is. What's the name of it? I don't remember, man. I have terrible memory. Louisa Harp? What's that, Visceral? Louisa Harp. What does that mean? I don't know, man. <laughs> You're trying to make a play on Louisiana Harp. Oh, that's yeah, going to be hard to do. Liar of Ire. Which game is that in? Huh. Heard a weird noise. DQ3? Must have been called something in Dragon Warrior 3. Is that going to fit? Seven. No, that won't fit. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's 11 characters. It's 11. Rep tarp? Sick beats? On a harp? Liar of I.O. Oh, without spaces. That'll work. Orpheus? What's, what, what's Orpheus? What's Orpheus? Is this not the marimba? No, I don't think so. Oh, it is the marimba. Well, I feel really stupid right now. <laughs> Hold on. Let's do the harp. We were all talking about the harp. Oh, that was the gator skin harp. That's right. We're on a marimba right now. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Marimba. Okay. This is marimba, not a liar. That's the thing you you go doot, 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 with the little the little sticks, and you hit the little the longer bigger sticks with the smaller sticks, and it goes doot, 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 doot. <laughs> Uh. Kind of like a xylophone, similar to that. Sick beats does work for that, but I want to I, I want to see what others have suggested. It's usually wood instead of metal. Yeah, even though this one's metal. <laughs> dutes. Just call it dutes. You want me to call them marimba dutes? Let's call it dutes, I guess. Do, 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 do. Dudes. Well, Baobab Wood Flute. Baobab Wood Flute. It's not a skin flute. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I think it's my freaking goal to make Sammy leave every night with my terrible humor. Skin flute. Okay. 
Well. <laughs> Boss battle coming up. Better equip my dudes. <laughs> Better get my dudes ready. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Skin flute. All right, now we have earth drum. I'm going to make a different one for that. We're going to do something else for that. Dudes, get my dudes ready. All right, let's feel, let's feed Boko. Feed Boko. Feed the Chocomobo. Does it say his hit points is 199? Dude, what have you been eating? Wow. So I haven't got any dice berries or mangoes. Spring bananas. No. It's hard to get what I want. It really is. Mush in a box was a rare one. Percussive maintenance won't fit. Poop. Yeah, yeah, it was a Sky So Fly suggestion, I believe. <laughs> totally went with poop. Uh, let's see, cherries, rhino, any rhino, melons, boar melons. Ooh, boar melons work. Uh, squalfin, no, spring banana. I don't think we have that. Cornflower, de laurel. No. Cherry, toadstool, conch. Do we have any conchs? I don't think we've seen conchs yet. No. Pears and peaches. Pears. Peach puppy. <laughs> Shade. <laughs> Peach. How many peaches? No, I don't have any peaches. I want peaches. With apricots. <laughs> boar. I could just do another boar melon. That'll work. Poob. Poob is grazing, alright? Don't leave Poob alone. Poob is living Poob's best life. Poob is living Poob's best life, all right? <laughs> it's a pile of sentient green goo. What do you expect? I think it's an appropriate name. <laughs> uh. All right. Um, we have more artifacts to place down. I think we're going to save first. Boko is our forever companion now. Okay, you don't have anything to say, so we're going to save. I noticed there's another pot in here. I wonder if we can get another cactus or a plant. Interesting. Yeah, Voidheim is this pile of sentient gray goo. The Voidy. Little Voidy guys. Little Voidy guys are cute. Uh, Void, I can add one of those to BTTV if you want. If you if you have one on BTTV you like the most, I have like 30 slots cuz they added a shit ton more slots. I'm totally down with that. You got to pick one, pick your favorite or just one you would want to use here and want others to use here. And I could add that. All right, we have artifacts. We have a golden seed, moon's mirror, tome of magic. Look at all this empty space over here. Oh, that's going to burn me hard, isn't it? I have a feeling that's just going to burn me super hard. Have I seen Peepo Savers? I've seen that one. Let's see, which one is that? <clears throat> the Wave. Okay, it's added. It should be on uh, live in chat in a couple minutes. Let's see, we have one, two, three spots over here. That's it. Okay.
Tome of Magic, Moon's Mirror, Golden Seed. I wish there was a way to be like, to tell if these are going to be towns or not. Well, I guess that's why I saved, right? I guess that helps. One, two, three, four. You have four distance there. One, two, three, four. We could get five on either one of these. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'll, I'm gonna. I mean, I'm definitely gonna use all three. So if any of these are towns, that would be good to know. Tome of Magic, Moon's Mirror, Golden Seed. The tome is okay, and we'll try to put that one the furthest. I could put that one right here by the ship. That's a really far spot, and then we'll save this corner for like maybe like an end game spot. Let's see, how far away is that spot? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven far away. Wow. What about this corner up here? I haven't done anything that way. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So not much going on up there. That looks cool. Geo. Hmm, okay. Alright, so those are fives. One, two, three, four, five, six. We got a six right here. So we could put something else there at some point. I don't know if this spot will be usable. Moon's mirror. Probably put in one of the fives. I can't put the moon's mirror right here. That must mean it has to be near water. No, because I can put it right here. What the fuck? Why can't I use that spot in the corner? That does not make any sense. This corner is unusable for some reason. I am very bewildered by that. I wonder if it's because I've not been to the Mindus Ruins or North Norn Peaks. I bet that's why, because I haven't been to either one of those. That's my estimate. You have to explore those before you can continue the chain. Yo, Broski, a rare appearance. How the heck are you, brother? A rare appearance from the one and only Broski. The game tells you about distance and order? Oh, does it? Uh, placement. Adventures in a certain land are insufficient. You might not be able to place an artifact next to that land. Some must be placed near a body of water. Okay. So that confirms my theory. I can't place in this corner because I haven't explored either one of these. Yeah, I usually don't read instructions, honestly. <laughs> I just like to blind my way through it. All right. Um, we'll place this one here. No, I'm going to go right here. I'm going to go right there. I'm doing well, broski. Just playing a blind, uh, pretty cool game. Old school RPG, Tower of Lyris. Lyris. And then we have a golden seed. Let's see what that does. It came from the tree, so it makes me think it's special in some way. You know? I'm not sure if it is. I really don't know. Du -du 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 Um, let's see. Where can we place this? Not a lot of spots. It's hard to get the golden sea in a first play. Really? So you can actually miss artifacts. Interesting. Fascinating. 
I, so I lucked into it, is what you're saying. <laughs> Big shock. All right. I think before placing this seed, I'm going to do more exploration. Because I want, I want to put the seed in this corner here. Down here. So I'm going to wait to place my, my, uh, my last artifact. Because we have a lot of unexplored areas. We haven't done Mindus Ruins. We haven't done Norn Peaks. We haven't done this new Tower of Lairess. And we haven't gone to Geo. Seeds need to be next to water. No. No, we can place at any of these. These are all available. So yeah, this corner down here is where I want to put the golden seed. So plan will carry on as stated. Before that, we're going to go pay um, Elazul a visit. Take him along on our explorations. Because he's been really useful. I want to do that. We could go hunt for that dumb dragon some other time. It's, there's no reason it shouldn't be available. Well, like I said, and like the tutorial thing that popped up said, if your adventures are insufficient, you won't be able to place something next to them. Seven wisdoms, prof bomb. I don't see the dragon hunt quest listed in here. That's weird. Hmm. Still haven't found this pearl gal that he's looking for. I will help you. I better not. Just wanted to see what he would say. Let's go. Let's find pearl. There may be different NPCs in the town as well. All right, Miss Yuka still says the same stuff. I want to see what materials the merchant sells. I thought that merchant was always in that room. I guess not. Sometimes there's NPCs in this room. No, there's only maybe the one time, honestly. Just like Secret of Mana, Sammy. So now I'm beginning to see what these are for. These materials. Well, some of them anyway. Mana stone. I wonder what those are for. I'm sure we'll find out at some point. I should go to one of the higher tier towns and buy better materials. So I love this statue here. It's, it's a bit of an interest. You're still hopping around saying the same shit? Yep. Okay. Good, good talk there, my dude. Good place a new town. Yeah, I plan on going there after this. Not in any huge rush. This game definitely is content rich. Still nobody here, sadly. Still a bunch of empty houses. Feels bad. Pretty looking area, though. We got any uh, spirits here, like before? Oh, okay. You gotta get more of those coins to make more instruments. We'll have to figure out someday how to pull that off. Do, 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 do. All right, let's go to the fortune teller and see what she has to say today. Mm -mm. 
Tell me my fortune. Miss Cornucopia. What do you got? What do you got? It says, a fateful encounter on the lake. How romantic. Didn't you already tell me that once? Maybe not. Although there's incentive to go there now. Nope, nothing new here. Feels bad. All right. Nothing really happened here. As in literally nothing happened here. But we did get Elizol to hang out with us again. Uh, it's all right, Mr. Earl. I'm good for now. I have a lot of places I haven't even seen yet, so I'm not really hurting for things to do. Fateful encounter on a lake, huh? We have Lake Kilma. I wonder if that is relevant to Elizol right now. Let's take a... Well, why not? Let's pay a revisit to the lake. Let's follow the fortune teller's uh, guidance. Best dating sim feels amazing. I wonder if that Pearl gal is still around because we have not seen her since the very beginning of the game. She's just vanished. Whoa. It looks like those robot bosses from Secret of Mana. Don't laugh at me. Are you going to give me your silver points? I have kittens to buy. Oh, shit. These things are here. Well, that's something. I left Professor to start my own research to get rid of foolish creatures with golem troops. Oh, good. Well, we fighting now. I guess counterattack isn't going to work very well on something like this. Ow! Nice town with slow car. <laughs> oh, man. Ooh, that took off like two thirds of his health bar. I think I figured out how to do different attacks. Oh. Oh, it was this quest. Okay. Strike over the wild fiddlesticks. Uh, dude, what are you doing? Ah! Ah! What the fuck? Someone get the exorcist! All right, this on you! That was awkward. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, it's your morning routine. <laughs> All right. Well, that was a quick quest. Let's go talk to the cactus and get another fortune told. Explosive farts. Sometimes you just explode, I guess. Bye then. Bye. Well, I like that there's reason to revisit those old areas. So there's potentially a lot more quests that I could get. Fine, fine. Yeah, fine, Bye. fine. <laughs> they just always peace out when I go in my house. It's really weird. Like, dude, just wait outside. I'll be right back. It takes like two minutes. It's not like I'm preparing dinner and going to bed. No, that is what I'll be doing after stream. <laughs> uh, let's see.
Professor Bomb. There was a big cat chase to catch a pile of junk that ran away from a professor. How could a pile of junk run away on its own? I don't think I get it. Master, you need a rest. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. I literally, I go to my bed, but I don't go to bed. There's a semantic difference there that's very crucial. <laughs> I do go to my bed, but I don't go to bed. Do, 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 do. do I go to other people's beds too? Sometime. Yeah. You know, sometimes they have magazines hidden under them. They're Make good reads, really interesting articles. That's a hobby. It's a hobby. <laughs> oh God. Does he ever reach the bed? No. <laughs> With that question, no. Come on, let's go find Pearl, maybe. Where's your girlfriend, Alizul? Or the... Yeah. You get infinitely close, it's true. Boy, that's a brain twister. Tell my fortune. That is really messed up, Regison. <laughs> what the fuck, man? That's really messed up. It says, you shall lose 10... Ah, oh, you suck, lady! All right, let's go. Oops. That was rude. That was just rude. Man. Can you believe that? You probably can believe that. Punch the fruit lady. Oh, jeez. I get jokes. I understand them. You know, we never finished exploring the, 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 the sea either. Never did. Norn Peaks, Mindus Ruins, Tower of Laris, Geo. We could go to Geo just to see uh, new equipment to buy, things like that. Geo Metro. Hmm. Ah. Interesting. Oops. Outdoor fruit parlor. Oh no, Gilbert's here. And he's hitting on someone else now. Oh darling, my shimmering goddess. When I see your eyes, I'm so fascinated I can't move an inch. Sorry, kiddo, you'll be petrified if you stare into my eyes. Heavens, I've never felt this way before. I feel it all over. Look, kiddo, I'm part basilisk. You're not feeling love. It's preliminary petrification. <laughs> Got it? How poetic. I turned to stone for you, my love. Listen, my sweet, my charming tenor. Yeah, baby, I'm getting hot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa. 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 This is, this is my, this is, this is me right now. This is me right now. <laughs> oh, 
please don't leave me. Have fun. My students are boycotting. I gotta go find them. Well, I can do that sort of thing, darling. You just need all your students to go back to school. Well, yeah, that sure will help me out. Darling, uh, you're so... Uh, I must stop or melt if I keep thinking about her. Gilbert, you turd. You giant turd. He wasn't born to go to school. Well, there's something I need your help with. I need to convince my darling students to go back to school. What do you say? Will you help me out? I'll do it! Oh, thank you. You're so kind. You must be so popular. Oh, really? Oh, my love, I hunger for your honey sweet love. Ugh. ugh. Go to school, kid. What were you born for then? I don't know. I'll go to school just because it's on the way to where I really want to go. Uh, all right, uh, I'll uh, I consider that a victory of sorts. I'll take it. I don't have a reason for going back to school or for staying here. Do as you please. Don't look at me like that. I hate adults because I am who I am. I don't want to repeat the mistakes that they made, ever. I'll go back to school only because it's on my way. All right. How you doing? How you doing? That guy's basically horseshit. Oh, he's a centaur. <laughs> you know, every bartender is a barrel in his soul. What are you? He's like a gingerbread man or something. I guess you'd have to be a bartender to understand. Oh, okay. Okay. That nobody understands me thing. Right now, we're all boycotting school. For some reason, I just don't want to go. Maybe the quality of instruction isn't too good. I don't know. I just don't feel like going. Spells have gotten a lot prettier than they used to be, but it's all show. No elegance at all. Sure, flashy magic is good for two or three castings, but isn't that enough? I'd rather learn more simple, more meaningful spells, but... I wish I knew what our teachers are thinking. You're right. I don't think elemental properties are a good thing. Even if you have to use different elements, in the end, they're all the same. Each one has its weaknesses and strengths, so you have to know many, right? But then everyone will just end up the same, right? And I think the school is set up just so that it can make money. I suspect the teachers are just messing with figures that decide our futures. And I think there are times when we should doubt. Wow, this kid is just going and laying it out. Wow. Even if they're not, it says a lot that I'm suspecting them. And the faculty says that it's not their problem, but that it's ours. I can't stand it with them saying things like that. Oh. Okay. Okay. He, yeah, he just, just, just go to school. That's pretty heartless, but I guess defiance will do us no good either. I'll go back to school. All right, yay. Yeah, That's three people that will go back to school. Is this the exit? Yeah, it is. Okay. Mall Avenue. I hate school. I hate school too. Wow, I'm so relieved to hear that. I'll go to school tomorrow. All right. <laughs> cool. I don't know why, but sure. <laughs> Lester's heart. I hate those who can't express themselves. Like those who only answer my questions with yes or no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Aren't you listening? Not really. No. I give up. Adults are pitiful. I'm going to school. <laughs> yes, it worked. Uh, wasn't the plan, but fuck it. Uh, Alright, what do you got for sale? Gold, huh? Whoa. Strong. Strong equipment. Gold should not be strong. It should be brittle and nearly useless as equipment. But I will take it. Wendell Silver. 
instruments. It's not brittled, so... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <sighs> Alright. Let's get a gold sword. And a gold halberd. So far, the sword has worked out really well. The Levitine was obsidian, which we never saw in a shop anywhere. Yeah, this is plus nine. That's significant. Oh, wow. That's, yeah, that's a huge difference. Yeah, it's definitely a lot better now. All right, folks. What we're going to do here is status. What are we going to call the gold sword? What do you guys want to call the gold sword? Let's get some name suggestions. Stab and dab butter. Oh, that's a good one. Stab and dab is good, but butter is a really good one. Like the Zelda, it's the Zelda reference. Gargle Blaster does not fit. Butter's butter's way too good. It's a gold sword and it's called butter. I can't not take that. It's only 10 characters, uh, reg. Otherwise, I would do butter sword. Butter. <laughs> That's way too good. That's way too good. Just butter. Just butter. It's a sword named butter. It's perfect. Should we name the armor? Can you? You can. Okay. Gold Hallberg. We want to name it. Like the original names can be more than 10 characters, but the renamed ones can only be 10 characters. Status symbol. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Reg. Subtle. Oh my god. Bling bling. Bling bling's pretty good. Subtle's pretty good. Status symbol's pretty good. Regison's ban. It's Regison's ban. Totally ban. <laughs> Shiny suit. Get your shiny suit. Tough call. Wasn't shiny suit in Secret of Mana? Wasn't that armor in Secret of Mana? Or something like that? Goldilock? That's not bad either. There's some good suggestions here. I'd like status symbol if I could fit the whole thing. Let's go with Goldilock. Let's do Goldilock. There we go. Goldilock. Bad reg. <laughs> Just call something bad rig. All right, let's talk to these. I don't like school no more. Am I a bad boy? No, you're not. Thank you. I'll go back to school. All right. Looks like everyone's boycotting school. What about you? Fuck it, go to school. You suck. I'll go back to school. I promise. Ban reg is for the best hammer in the game. <laughs> Appropriate. Apropos. Cafe Sorry Carl? The name of this cafe is Sorry Carl. I I didn't I didn't imagine that, right? <laughs> what the fuck kind of name is that? Uh, hello. We'll be open all night. You can stay here if you like. 
Uh, I'm good. Enjoy your visit. Selling minerals. Nice. He sells Wendell Silver, Vizzle Gold, Ebony Wood, Jude Hemp. Wow, that stuff is expensive. Holy crap. Can I sell? It's. It, it seems like it's not a bad idea to sell some of the shit that I have. Like, ugh. I don't really need money right now, though. I have two earth splitters. I can sell one of those. Dudes! <laughs> I love that we have a Marimba named Dudes. Wow, platinum sells for 1500. Holy crap. Some of this stuff sells for a lot. What if I need it at some point in time? And then we get to the final boss and we still have 99 elixirs. We're like, no, we might need it after the end credits. Get out of the way. What the? F okay, I'm good. The platinum is the best material I own. Yeah. I hate war. I could never like magic used for war. My father was a famous warrior who was meant to fight the demon lord. He searched for the strongest armor in the world. So he went deep underground to the land of the locusts. There he performed great deeds and was given locust armor, the strongest armor in the world. When the locust king awarded the armor to my dad, he said this, Once you don the armor, you can't take it off or you will die. My dad put on the locust armor, battled with the demon lord, and won. And when peace returned, my dad forgot the king's words and took the armor off. Then locust wings grew from his bare back. After that, he buzzed around from morning to night for a week's time. And one morning, we found him near the kitchen, all stiff and dead. That's a fucked up story. Daddy! Wow. Okay. I'll go back. Okay. So boring at school. Yeah, it's boring. How's it you could say something like that? I'm going back to school. I'm sick of you picking on me. I uh, what? I was agreeing with you. What a bunch of jerks these kids are. Man. Par for the course, I guess. Is that a door? No. All right. After a good dream, I like to skip school and go for a walk. That's nice. Isn't it? That's not good. If by chance I forget what happened in the dream, then I go to school feeling down. Back to school I go. Okay. <laughs> Went to Sproutling. The wind blew some leaves away. That's it? That's all you got? What the? Uh oh. I got confused by my own chocobo. Jewelry shop Wendell. Okay. Oh, you look familiar. I saw you in uh, Gato. I still don't know if this is a guy or girl, honestly. It doesn't really matter, but it makes it hard to voice. My name is Alex. I'm a jewel merchant. What can I do for you? Uh, shop. What do you got? Ivory coral. Wow, 9,000. Holy crap. Chaos crystal. Uh, what can you say? Tell me about jewels. Commence tutorial. The androgynous name doesn't help either. I know, right? I'm just trying to keep it even keeled with this, this person. <laughs> it's a Burl or a Goy. It is a they. For as far as I'm concerned, it's a they. Precious stones grow deep inside the earth over long periods of time. They're very weak and fragile, beautiful but frail. Which stone shall I discuss to get more valuable towards the ta? <laughs> Clary simply means most precious and isn't the name of any type of stone. The title is only given to stones possessing the perfect sparkle and shine. I... I don't need to know about this. Jumi cores. Okay. I'm looking for Jumi cores. Yes! 
I would never sell Jumi course for money. What if I say no? No, no, I'm not. I don't know. Jumi die if you take their course from them. Remember that. Mana stones. I have seen them. Perhaps you saw an imperfect one. It said that a true mana stone is in the sanctuary. It is said that whoever touches it is granted a wish. Mm. Jewel Hunter. The Jewel Hunter. She's only after the most valuable jewels, and she always sends a note before she strikes. Valuable jewels? Spectre Boyd has even advised the store to be careful. He's a short, loud mouse man, and he's after the Jewel Hunter. Once you see him, you'll never forget him. I have seen him. All right, let's say a note. I don't know the details. What about the she question? I heard she's a woman. Okay. The victims. I heard that some of the victims are Jumi. Perhaps the Jumi really are doomed to die out. I have one with me, I believe. Even the character art is vague. Character art is vague. It looks slightly more masculine right there. Not really. Kind of. Racial qualities. There's much about Jumi that is unknown. This is all I know. They are known for their long lifespans and fragility of their cores. A Jumi can live as long as its core remains undamaged, but the cores are fragile, and other races view them as jewels. They were hunted for their cores ages ago. Okay. Legends? All who cry for the Jumi shall turn to stone. That legend forbids any contact with the Jumi. I see. Traditions. Many traditions. Strata. Strata are ranks of organization for Jumi cores. At the top is the stratum of the Clarius, followed by the strata of the Lucidia and the Half Lucidia. With the stratum of the Clods at the bottom. <sighs> the guardian who occupies the stratum of the Clarius is the symbol of the entire race. All right. Two rolls, knight and guardian. The knight fights while the guardian heals. Various old tomes describe the Jumi as always working in pairs. Hmm. There's a lot here to digest. We may have to come back sometime to learn more. Oops, is that an exit? It is an exit, huh? What about up here? The Academy of Magic. I'm only thinking about flowers in bloom. Okay. It's so hard to study with those rambunctious youngsters. Must be rough. <laughs> okay. Stick with it. I'll give it the old college try. Alright. School sure isn't fun. You can make it fun. I guess I could be more of a class clown. I'll go back. If I don't become a mage, then I'll become an actor. Alright. Sounds good to me. Look, it's a black mage. It's a Vivi. Check it out. That's a nice little reference. It's a Vivi. It is a Vivi. I'm still standing. How come? Because I forgot my homework. I like school. All right. That's good. It's good to hear. Everyone's boycotting school. Even though it's fun, everyone's saying it's not. I want to study with my classmates. Study by yourself. I will. Then everyone can see how fun it is. Be a trendsetter. Good work. My handle is the Green Wiggly. I'm conducting experiments in telepathy. Close your eyes. Can you see the green wiggly? No. We must be on different wavelengths. All right, I, I guess I have to say yes. I totally see it. Yes, that's me. I'll try sending a message. Concentrate on the green wiggly. Well, did you see something? Nothing. Damn it. I don't see any green wiggly. All right. 
Let's try this again. Yeah, I see it. Marching ants. Well, all right, we're on the same wavelength. And did you see them looking lost at the beginning? Couldn't tell. Well, I was just testing you. Look like I'm working. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll cut it out and focus on studying. Oh, man. It was some Rorschach shit, wasn't it? What was that? It's a talking stained glass window. I am Nunusa, conjurer extraordinaire. Nice to meet you. Thank you for the lengthy discourse. Do, do, do. This is good music here. I like it. There's good music everywhere in this game. Like, damn. Good job, Square Soft. Could I help you with something? Yeah, I want to see more fireworks. That shit was cool. Can you do that? Look, another Vivi. Look, there's another Vivi down there. And then there's an old, older version looking one from like Final Fantasy V with the little moon in his hat. Yo, Spaz. It's been a little while, man. How are you? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well, Spaz. Vivi is awesome, man. He's my favorite character in Final Fantasy IX. All right, there's nothing in here. Let's go. You're back in Canada visiting? VV a year and a month before VV was ever announced to the world. This came out before nine. Interesting. Which smells the flower, the color of to die, and thus according to. Uh, 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 right. My name's Esmeralda. I want to be a magic warrior. I'm going to fight hard. Hello. 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 Hello, person with a name who's probably important because you have a name. Nine was super late PS1. That's true. Esmeralda is the only one here. Dang, Spaz. Florida has seasons, hurricane and not hurricane. It's true facts. Oops, I didn't want to go that way. Getting all comfy, hamburguesa. People comfy. Oh, I went in here. I'm confused. What was up here? I forget. Oh, right, 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 right. All right, we can leave now. Just totally forgot. It's a cool town. Is there anything over here I didn't explore? Let's check it out. Did I, did I win? Oh my love, I hunger for your honey sweet love. All the kids hate school. Did I did I convince them all? I must have missed some. You know what? I didn't there was one place I didn't explore. I bet that's it. Are there any buildings in here I didn't go in? Doesn't look like it. Wait, maybe up there. You're in the way! Fuck it, I'll come back later. Let's go up here. Palace of Arts. That was a cool view. What are you doing? I'm Clickfoot Skippy, nobody can outrun me. 
Oh, you can take him with. Cool. I want to see this view again. Check this out. That's cool. That's a nice little touch. It's got the, like, out-of-focus arch right in front with the quote-unquote camera. Oops. Jin Day? Why did I say Jin Day? Oh, I wanted to go in there. See if there's any more students here. Oh, here's the dumb guy. I'm handsome the powerful. Nobody's stronger than me. But if we can get them on, take them on quests, that means that we can find more quests. Hello, I like your hair. It's ridiculous. Hi, I'm Christy. You don't look like a Christy, but all right. I own the place. But nice talking with you, Christy. You look familiar. I am the power steward. You may call me Sutherby. I recently heard that Hampson and Skippy often complain about Madame Christy. They don't complain. Very well then. Well, let's see if they say they complain. Truly lamentable. They don't realize how necessary Madam is to their livelihood. What do you recommend, Madam Christie? Fifteen percent pay cuts. If they still complain, fire him. Wow. Oh God, I fucked that up. <laughs> fire, Madam. Shall I hire a hitman? Did I say that? Not a word, Madam. I shall make the necessary arrangements. I haven't said a thing. Oops. They don't complain. They don't complain. They're fine. Alright, I guess I can't get... Ooh, I found a door. Amazing. Storage room. Give me Treji, please. Don't fucking bird dog me here. What kind of storage room doesn't have Treji? I just ruined lives. Yeah, apparently. There's nothing in the storage room. Oh, music change. Oh, uh, excuse me? Battle arena. This is the two player arena? I don't know anything I can do. I don't even own two PS2 controllers. <laughs> It is. That was a requested feature in Secret of Mana. I remember talking to friends about it and saying how cool it would be to be able to just fight each other sometimes. <clears throat> I'm sure not a popular one, but just a little extra polish. All right. Nothing going on in here. A lamentable palace. Lamentable. I meant lamentable. I couldn't find any more kids. Mm -mm. I wonder if there's like hidden areas I can walk to. Let's try to find some. Or get shunted down here. City's gate. Is there any students? No. Actually. Let's try that. See if we can find any hidden spots. No luck so far. Damn. Miss RPG girl, how are you? Welcome back, Miss RPG Girl. I may have missed a dwelling that I could enter. Possibly. 
So let's go ahead and, you know, comb the area. Back to school you go. Oops. Parents are visiting you in South Korea and your birthday was yesterday. Oh, happy belated birthday. That's awesome. Feels birthday, man. Everyone say happy birthday to Miss RPG Girl. <laughs> Sammy. Uh, are we space balls up in here now? Is that it? Back to your lessons. You'll go back to school. All right. Maybe I missed somebody in the uh, academy. Everyone that I've talked to likes school and is going back to school. What did I just do? Oh, I zoned out. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I do not want to go back to school. <laughs> the NPCs do, though. I felt like when I graduated from grad school that I was on parole. <laughs> I had served my time. Focus on studying. I can't go in that door. There's a tent in here. That's odd. Conjurer extraordinaire. Conjure me some students, please. Oh, I walked through him. That was weird. Coronavirus has delayed school opening. Oh, wow. I imagine proximity to China has made that a bit of a worry for South Korea. Here's the night like you kids at your job. Oh, boy. I feel that one. Which smells the flower, the color? I am the words. The words are everything. Hello, Esmeralda. You don't say much, do you? That's not a door. Looking for like hidden doors. Can't open this door. Dang. How does the zombie become a teacher? Um, kickbacks. Zombie kickbacks. She loves brains. <laughs> Damn it, Sammy. <laughs> All right, I'm just like pixel hunting right now. Oops, I keep going in there in an accident. K E K W. Yes, a K E K W right back at you, Spaz. Corona Beer Company. Nice. This almost looks like it would be an entrance, but it's not. Maybe in here. Oh, maybe I have to stay the night. Maybe I have to stay the night. I didn't actually... I, I forgot to say yes to that. Let's do that. Let's say yes. Step up to the cat. Fine. I will stay. Is that all right? Sure. Good night. Do, 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 do. Dryad day. Now what? Now what?
Did it work? My fiance is teaching today. You don't have a place where you belong. Why not? No school today. I think I messed it up. Aw, oh, man. I think I messed it up. Feels bad. Can't go in there. Turn. Do, 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 do. Anyone down here? At the gates? The gates of hell. It's not actually hell. No, it's just a place. You went to China for winter vacation. Like the day the virus went viral. So when you came back, you were quarantined for a week. Wow. That had to have, that had to suck. Quarantine. <sighs> wow. Everyone says they're going back to school. Got all the students to go to class. Okay. That was weird. Your pupils seem to be back in your beautiful arms now. Yeah, now we can have real classes. Bye now. Well, hold on, darling. What do you mean by now? After you're done with the kids, how about you and me go on a date, hmm? You are so annoying. Let me go already. I'll turn you to stone if you keep pestering me. Oh, turn me to stone, baby. Make a statue of my gorgeous body, darling. You want to keep me forever? Oh, how romantic. This is my cat's way of telling me I need to go to bed. She has a clock. It means it's past 3 a.m. and she wants me to go the fuck to bed. We can do it, baby. Sculpt our eternal happiness together. Hmm. Sculpt your eternal happiness alone. No way, baby! Did it work? Did he finally get petrified? Gilbert, school amour. Amour? The end. What do you think, Licky? Do we have a statue now? We did it, friends. We beat, we beat the quest. That was fun. That was a fun little distraction. This game is full of fun little distractions. Right, Lickety? They know it's time for bed. Yeah, the cats know. Their biological clocks work super well. Lickety appears around 3 a.m. Usually, yeah, if I go too late, she will. Every single time. It's a good reminder, honestly. Yeah, she's a good kitty. She's a really good kitty. She's very particular. She's a very particular personality. We'll talk later, Elizabeth. Ryan right, Lickety? You per Miss Particular? Yeah, you're a nice little lady. Oh, she's gonna move the camera now. Godzilla! Hi, do you want me to go to bed? Is that what you're trying to tell us? You want me to go to bed, Lickety? He got hard, said the cactus. Wow. Watch this butt button. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> Works every time. Uh, cat butt button. All right, let's see. Gorgon's eye. I think that was it, actually. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. Uh, let's see. Which one is it? School Amor. There it is. They all didn't want to go back, but when my master talked to them, they decided to go back. What did master say to them? It must be magic. This game's fun. We're going to be playing it again tomorrow. We're absolutely going to be playing this again tomorrow. This is an awesome game. And I don't know if we're going to beat it tomorrow. I have no idea. Probably not, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Here, you guys want to say hi to Lickety? Look at the little kitty. What are you doing, kitty cat? What are you doing, kitty cat? Okay, Void. Thanks for hanging out tonight, man. Look at my cat. Look at my cat. She's a good cat. You're a good cat, Licky. Well, what do you folks think about going on a raid with me? Let's go on a raid. You guys gave me a lot of support tonight. A lot of lurks, a lot of chatting, a lot of jokes, good conversations. 
How about we host somebody doing key sanity? I like this guy. He's been doing a lot of key sanity late at night, and it's always a super comfy, chill, chill place to hang out. Late night, Ocarina of Time, key sanity. What do you guys think? You want to go with me? Say hi to the Slackaholicus. He's a good guy. Been following his channel for over four years now. Let's go say hello to the Slacker. Thank you, everybody. Here's our raid message. If you're new here, hit that follow button so we can hang out with you again sometime. It'll be good to see you back. Uh, follow me on Twitter and join the Discord for channel announcements. And here's our raid message here. We're going to want to copy paste that. I am doing my damnedest right now to type with the cat in front of the keyboard. Slash ME for color. Put the sub emote there if you got it. Let's go say hello to the Slackaholicus. And remember, back 7 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Central Time, whatever central it is, for more Legend of Mana. All right, let's go say hi to Slacker.